Hello, everybody. We're uh, starting a bit early here, so how's everyone doing? Uh, Goblin Ico is not able to make it, so unfortunately, uh, I, I have the usual EC Plays crew with us. We have Bunny Girl Nix. How you doing, my friend? Pretty good. And then, um, th in a surprise twist of fate, we have Lug. Um, Hi, I have nothing to do with bunnies. You don't. <laughs> you don't. That is. That I am is... not affiliated. All right. Um. Yeah, just make sure to check the stream to make sure everything looks looks good. Are we good? I will check. Yep, I was in. I was animating a hyperactive dance before a twist of fate brought me here. Uh, you fall in a dark core curse, haven't you? I'm not sure which one is the dark curse here. <laughs> me neither. But uh, are we good with stream? We are good. Well, let's see. Good. I see, uh, you're a Sam or something. No, we're playing Borderlands. We're playing Borderlands. Ah! Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> there are other first person shooters in massive open environments besides Serious Sam? I know, How right? come hey, nobody told so. me? So we're playing some Borderlands, and, uh, yep. So what's everyone up to today? Trying not to get a sunburn, though I think I might have failed miserably. Wow, is he even getting you from inside? Wait, did you touch <laughs> grass? Did you touch grass, Nyx? I did, actually. Well, not grass, oh. perhaps, but I went outside today. She's making a run for it. Get her! Sure. I bugged your new base, but I trusted you, D. You're so getting murderized when you least expect it. I'm getting murderized? What the heck? What the heck is murderized? Is that like being tenderized or something? I don't know. So what were you working on? Me? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Secret thing. Oh, a secret project? Let's see. I guess I have to have it, uh, done by Sunday. Why? Otherwise you'll turn into a pumpkin? No. I don't... Act... Alas, Can she do that? Hmm. Uh, that's, a, uh, that's a good question. Well, uh, now I got him scared. I, I got a little scared of him. I'm scared now. Fear not. We shall enter the vast dark portal together. My wings beast towards... Uh, I, don't, I don't want to upset the queen of the underworld. Oh, no. Whoa, talk about two psycho birds with one stone. We just cleaned up the universe a bit, Vault Hunter. Come on back for your reward. My reward? What kind of reward? Oh, 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 no, no! That was stupid. <laughs> so who are you doing the commission for? Move out and try not to die again, maggot! These things are expensive! Look, Is Nick's making a commission? Uh... He said you're working on something for the Dark Queen of the Underworld. <laughs> I'm so confused! <laughs> My circles are growing! Um, 
Perhaps I do need to bring. Perhaps I do need to return to the very, very guy tag. Oh my god. I have brought peace and security to my new empire. Your new empire? I'm just like so. Yes, I'm nimble. I'm just like. So. I'm just like solo, uh. <laughs> quoting it right now. Frozen! Yes, I'm mingling with, like, comic illustrators and writers and game devs, and now more recently, VTubers. So what you're saying is you're cool. Also, um, looks like our friendly neighborhood, uh, Mod has, has entered the chat. Hello, hello, Nix. Is that your twin, Nix? There can be only one. Only one, Nix? So how are we gonna decide? Oh, who's the, be. How are we gonna decide who's a real Nyx and who's a clone? Uh, mod wrestling. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what? What? Oh, he's so confused right now. So adorable. Oh, fast travel station. Oh, okay. You can never be too well armed. Mm. Oh, we've got a message in the chat. All right. It says, "Hello." Mm. That's hot. Some very dangerous CD individual. What are we gonna do without without them? How many Nixes did you clone? All of them. I cloned all of them. Nix, what have you done? I played the fifth. But that's not allowed. It is now. Uh, I, I don't. I, I, I... Oh, holy cannoli. Oh, wait, did you leave the gun? Oh, that is actually pretty. Alright, Nick, spin it out. Oh, I found a kit on a website. Uh, you can... It's like Lego, kinda, sorta, but like unofficial Lego, and it's building one of those uh, robots from T uh, Breath of the Wild and a Korok. Oh, does it have? Korok you know, one of the ones that. Sorry, what? Does it have a Korok seed? No, unfortunately, I don't even think he has a face. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, no. Mom died. Mom died? <laughs> I am gonna take a picture of code. Don't stick. Please do. So how's everyone in the chat doing? What you guys up to? I must appease with an offering. Yes, give us an offering, good sir. I demand sacrifice. Alright. I, I demand you give a set an offering to the chat gods. My loyalties to the queen. I didn't even need to find that. That just popped up on me. It popped that up is on you. very neat. Yeah, the uh, the guardian. 
building kick, Hyrule Guardian, and Korok action figure. Huh. It can't actually use, like, the official terms. Yeah. So we have to pretend like it's a knockoff. Shh. I mean... <gasps> Oh, that is so cool! All right, we got we got a wild uh, impaler in the chat. He, uh, so greetings, humans. Good day, Dave. Good day, mate. What, what's Wh you up to? Which one is the which one is the faker? The in the claws. Next, what, what do uh, I hear? Uh, what? So tell me exactly why were you uh, touching grass? Honestly, I just didn't have anything better to do. You're so bored, you went out and touched grass. Yeah, that, that checks out. Well, that, and uh, I was waiting for my for my niece, my youngest niece, to come over. She was supposed to. Well, okay, she wasn't supposed to come over today, but I had been misinformed that she would be coming today. Okay. Alright, can someone read uh, Dave's comment? Would you rather be forced to play Borderlands for 48 hours straight or 4 hours Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? Uh, okay Dave, which Borderlands? Borderlands 1, 2, 3, PC, 4, Tiny Tees, 1 land. That, that is, uh, that, that's the important thing, because, uh, depending, depending on the Borderlands, uh, that would, uh, that would uh, you know, might change my answer. Hmm. Halt, Moon Citizen! I've been chosen to stand out here, far, far away from everyone else, to guard the main gate to the old communications facility. Uh, it's I could probably do it. If it was Borderlands um, 3, whatever. How do I get inside? Then yeah, we might have a thing here, but all the other ones, I could probably do it. Excellent. Get going, wannabe gang member. I shall brief you on the way. We are in a bloody war with the rival gang who call themselves the Darksiders. Cut a bloody the Darksiders. It's still the silly prison One, two, or three. by their toughest warriors. Then, if you live, return to me here, where I am standing. Oh, yeah! I forgot to mention! Those dark siders love overcharging their jump pads for some extra boost! Shoot the little box on the side of the jump pad, and you'll get some extra zip! Alright, so we're gonna go zip. Driving a lot of games is terrible. Yeah. Hey, Black Reaper Kai. How you doing, man? I'm so fun in games, so the grass touches you. Yeah. That's what would really have a problem. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Oh, crap. 
Every now and then you mow the lawn. My socks, my poor socks. Uh, what the heck? See, that's why you wear shoes when you mow the lawn. But, but, but I like, but my Crocs. My precious Crocs. That, or you get one of those neat little riding mowers. I'm pretty good. Um, did I just win? Hear the victory music. Well, if you do, then it shouldn't be a problem with your socks. Dave. Oof, right in the baby maker. Yeah. <laughs> Dave. Dave. Yeah. So this is a, like a more casual hangout stream for those, uh, you know. Junkhead hasn't got the boom to get you to the second floor! Yeah. Shoot the regulator to overcharge it! I gotta shoot the regulator. Wait. That's illegal. Oh. Alright! That was a thing. What did, they, what did uh, Black Super Kai say? I have to use a push. My yard is too small for a riding mower. Yeah, same uh, here. Skill issue. <laughs> you know, like I, I love those people who have like those zero G lawn mowers, like the circle ones. Like that is skill. Like that is that is like the dark souls of lawn mowers. And I, I can't believe I just said that, that sentence. Why did I just say that <laughs> sentence? You live a happy life. It's true. <laughs> It is, Dave. Oh, it very much is. Alright, um... Alright, what's going on? Oh! Oh, my god. Oh, Nyx, can you play some of the new sound fonts that I've played on the server? Yes. Uh, do the one for that I, that I labeled specifically for Jared. Alrighty. Uh, what's one the, second. What's oh. Black Ripper guy saying? Oh. Listen, I live in a trailer. I live in an apartment. Up, he got back from a very enthusiastic walk. Um, Black River Kai, keep that to yourself, please. I am not seeing the sound song here. I uploaded into the server. For some reason, it only has like a few of the server, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, one second. I gotta pop off for just a moment. Can you read uh, the most recent comments, please, uh, Lug? We got people saying things like, uh, I don't believe in mowing lawns. I need space for a boarded megafauna to graze. <laughs> Everything was on fucking. Oh, Black Reaper Kai chose violence. Why did you choose violence, Black Reaper Kai? Come on, I thought we were friends. Like 
Super Saiyan. Dang it! You're stealing my joy, bro! We had something! Wait, what, what the hell? It's been a message from Black Reaper Kai. It's my friend! That's the stuff. How's this? That's what I always wanted. Wow, got me impressed. Come on back. Hello, folks. Hello, welcome back. My aunt just called. She just wants to say hi. Aww. Nice to your aunt. Yeah, she, uh, she's out in the garden, I think. She said she saw a cardinal. Oh, those are beautiful. Yeah, well, apparently they say if, uh, uh if a cardinal s sings at you, it's a loved one saying hello. Aww, that's, that's kind of sweet, honestly. Yeah. Oh. Well, there's that, and actually, funny enough, we keep finding dimes everywhere, so we looked it up, like, this was a few years ago. We still find them to this day, though. We looked them up a few years ago. Apparently, if you find dimes in random places, it's a loved one who's passed on. Oh. Telling you that they're still there. That's interesting. It is. Hey, Kai's still here. Yeah, bam! This game has a boom boom. Uh, you got girls got jokes. I do. Alright, um Sort out this uh this this kind of si this uh situation we have with like the server stuff because I uploaded them to the server so I don't understand like um oh. yeah I don't know what's going on all right um yeah let me just take a look at the server real quick um all right uh. server settings. Yeah, they're there. Um, so in the server settings, uh, yeah, look for the Phoenix Press soundboard. Alright. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, what's Black River Kai saying? I want to wake up in the morning and have a hot, delicious blueberry muffin. Honestly, a blueberry muffin actually does sound kind of good right now. Okay, now you're making me craving. Now, now I'm craving blueberry muffins. Thank Black Reaper Kai. <laughs> oh, what have you done? Now I want blueberry muffins. <laughs> on my Discord, it says there's no sounds in the soundboard, so I don't know. No, go to my Discord. Going on. My Discord. Yeah, I, I did. It says it up. It says it in the server settings. So. Maybe it's like this. I don't know. I don't want to we'll deal with it after the screen. Most likely, it's just Discord being Discord. Yeah, I think it's like a permission issue, probably. You'll figure it out after the stream, It's fine. Yeah. Uh, no, 
no muffin do not make a look around fat bottom girls do. And Black River Kai just realized you totally just baited me into that. Well played. You prefer cranberry or cream cheese muffins. I'll get my skewers. He's like, a black river guy is like blasphemy. So I guess black river guy believes in blueberry muffin supremacy. No wouldn't. I love blueberries. I actually have blueberries in my fridge right now. I should go eat some of that cream. Alright, what's he, what's he saying? At least Muffin Top Girls don't make the world go round. Oh my god, no! Uh, what's Black Reaper saying? When you're feeling the sap, bring the tap. idea what that even means. <laughs> the heck? Oh good, so it's not just me. It's always you, Nix. It's always yeah. you. It's always you. And if it isn't, you just clone her. And it kind of is and kind of isn't. There's only one real Nyx, except no substitute. I'll, I'll, I want the, I, I prefer the, I prefer the, uh, the good value Nyx. The one I get from Walmart instead of, uh, inst instead of, uh, Nordstrom. See, I'm talking to the Nordstrom Nyx right now. I want, I want the, I want the bargain basement one. Alright, what, what's Yeah, the... but she says the things you're not supposed to say on stream. Who, the, the Nordstrom one? No, the Walmart Nix. Alright, then then go get the Walmart Nix then. Alright, catch up with chat, please. Just like Muffin Button, Dave, my mind is going, will I... Dream? Dream a little dream, I do. What? Whoa! Team Four Star references! Nice. Vegeta! I'm haunting you. Yo, Snappa! Lovely, I have a very, very mild sunburn on the back of my neck. That's not gonna make sleeping hard at all. No. But I thought you liked it hard. I just wanted to sleep tonight. I didn't ask for this. Sleep the next sleep tonight. Please don't kill me, Disney. Vegeta, no! Vegeta, what does a scouter say? Lug? 
it's over 9,000. Please. Almost had sunburn from Pokemon Go community day, but slapped a bunch of aloe vera on. Got shiny, uh, five shiny bagons. Nice. <sighs> you know, I really miss that summer of the first, the first Pokemon Go. Like, I, I'm not the only one, but that was really a magical summer. Yeah. Like, what are your memories of, of that summer, Nyx? Oh, I didn't have Pokemon Go until long after. My, uh, my phone back then couldn't handle it. Uh, I mean, I was actually living in a city at that time. Uh, and we, and like, basically everyone would kind of meet at a park. Like, there was this one park in the city we'd all meet at. It's like, oh, there's an, was, I remember like, oh, there's an Electrobuzz over there. We'd all, like, walk a few streets down and go and try and capture it. It's, and like all the all of the like oh if you do this or that you know just just the newness of it you know yeah Let's just get this out my of biggest the memory of when it was a big phrase was a bunch of dumb kids going out to the streets not looking where they're going getting themselves into big trouble or outright injured yeah and then you had the whole big uh Christian debacle with uh, people trying to bring it back to oh, the the Pokemon are, are devils they're demons, it's actually Satan trying to reach through to your children, and it's like just fuzz, no? fuzz off uh, I just I don't know, like those kind of people are just like two words my friend no refund yeah, They're making a big deal out of nothing because they think it'll get them noticed. Yeah. So what's the uh, what's the chat saying? Oh, it really was. The game is way better now, but there will never be as many people playing again. There won't be. Oh, and Black Ripper Kai said my friend Brad had six phones with Pokemon Go. Man gets all the shinies. Oh, did you ever see, you know, like, I, I remember seeing pictures of, like, uh, guys with, like, a, like, a, like, 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 with a bicycle and having, like, 20 phones on that bicycle. It was not, that was not. Morning. No Nick, what, Man. uh, what team did you pick? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the names. But it was the yellow team. Instinct, you're our team instinct. You're a pace eater. Yeah. I chose instinct because my younger brother chose it, because a bunch of his friends chose it. And my we all want to be on the same team, me and my brothers. Alright. Um Lug, what team are you? Uh I don't know. I'm on, are, I'm on Valor. How do the options go out, exactly? I'm on Valor. I'm on Valor. And then, and, and, and you guys like, yeah, that makes sense. I like the whole dynamic that kind like, of popped up. Like, it was basically Valor versus Mystic with, like, uh, Instinct kind of in the middle. I always kind of enjoyed that, like, kind of... Oh, Oh wait. Oh, uh, you're going black river guy? came back for the AT kits. The colors really coming through well. I adore the contrast. 
But the font's not the one I ordered. It looks more like it says Oz Kit. <laughs> well, that's up to you. If it was my money, I'd get the whole lot read. Thanks for killing my psycho sister. I can sleep far easier knowing All who right, what's uh, Black ever saying? Well, thank you, Black. No, I'm here to say. What do you say before it? Oh, you know what fools uh, still try to make the argument that Goku's bad dad? He's not, though. Wait, he's what? I will yeah, defend no Goku's sense. Sense. Wait, what's the Goku's argument? Goku's not a bad father. People try to Ooh, make the claim that Goku's a bad dad based on, like, our perception of being a father. But, like, people don't understand is that, one, Goku's an alien, and his race literally do not have... Met very much to at all contact with their children. Yeah, not to mention how people keep trying to use the comparison of oh, G G uh, Piccolo was a better father to Gohan. You know, the guy who threw him in a jungle for a year and just left him not, there. Not even a jungle. He threw him up on top of a mountain. And just left him there. The only time he even remotely was interested in being nice to Gohan was kind of just a fluke at first. Uh, Alright, and then what's the saying? Goku came back from the dead just to help see his kids again. But anyways, they tried the same stuff in the 90s uh, when Pokemon was new. I remember a story of Christian parents saying they buried their kids' cards outside the window and they possessed him, made himself delete. LOL. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I, I very no, much. No, it's because he had whack job parents. Yeah, like, have you seen some of those, like, Christian sermons from the 90s about Pokemon being de demonic? Like, this is a Jigglypuff! Hey, Ruthie, how you doing? Oh, I love it when Ruthie appears. Um, yeah, they're crazy. But we knew that. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> and they never change. No. What? The only thing that I'll say is, have you noticed um, that all the stuff the Christian fundamentalists were saying in the, about the, in the '90s about like about like intimacy and sex, the the left is now saying like literally word for word. Yes. It's kind of weird, honestly. And then, uh, what's, uh, what did Black Guy say? I had a whack job school, they took my cards away. Aww. The bastards. You bastards! But yeah, I remember, uh, when I was in middle school, we had, uh, Pokemon cards, uh, were allowed for, like, a couple of days and they banned them. See, the funny thing is that I went to a Catholic school up until high school, actually, and wait, wait, uh, wait, we're so, talking wait, like wait. a. So, so you wore a Catholic school and your uniform? Initiation is nearly no, we didn't have we didn't do uniforms. We were very backwards, uh, out in the boonies kind of school. Right oh, bummer. But um, so yeah, they actually allowed quite a bit uh, that you wouldn't. Think they would allow like Pokemon. They they had they had comics in our library. They had manga in our library. We had like the first couple issues of One Piece. I remember, and then there was a couple. Uh, there was like one or two issues of Yu Gi Oh, but those issues were in French. So, uh, gotta love Canada. But I I vividly remember. Uh, Taking out the One Piece mangas as much as I could and just rereading them, so it's like the only bit of manga that I could get my hands on at the time. All right, and then uh, can you catch up with what the chat saying? Yeah. Wasn't there a chick tracked about Pokemon Two? LMAO. I still find those being left on Halloween aisles and in restrooms at stores. And Black Paper Kai says it was during lunch. The VPN took them. VP. My, my parents wouldn't care. Yeah. 
my parents wouldn't care to get them back, monsters. And hail Canada. <laughs> we got another Canadian in the chat. But it's funny because, you know, the town, well not town, the village I grew up outside of was like Redneck Central. And it is even now. Like, you go to their pharmacy, their one pharmacy in the whole village, and you will find it barred up. So no one can get in and steal from it. They probably still have. Hey, that's the password. You're in. Wait a sec, where's that stupid switch? There you go. Use that to get to the secret entrance and welcome to the gang. So it's kind of like, how do we get that past that? Like, it was so funny to me when I grew up and I heard a whole bunch of people talking about how their over, overly zealous Catholic school wouldn't let them have Pokemon or anything. And I was like, really? Mine did. Oh. We never we never got the whole oh but it's satanic blah 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 speech from our teachers or whatever. They just didn't care. Oh no, Billy, you tell me. The only reason they started to care about uh, Pokemon cards or whatever is because people started like making it a problem. Yeah. And the problems were usually, oh, these kids are starting a fight over this game, or that game, or these cards, or that card. Yeah, that's it, that's all. Shame surely already. <sighs> Alright, what's Black Reaper saying? Uh, first off, we have Dave saying, nice, I just quote tweeted, uh, Ricky Bur er, Berwick, and you liked it. Nice. Because sexy Reynolds man can do anything, anything to me. Anything. <laughs> yeah, and then he oh, leaves no. this heart smiley emoji. See, like, every, like, I swear, every Canadian I've spoken to, they love the fact that Ryan Reynolds is Canadian. Like, well, we do have Ryan Reynolds at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've Pokemon met a lot of Canadians who take pride that Ryan Reynolds is, is, is one of them. Like, I mean, to be fair, I would too. So. Yeah, he's pretty great. Pokemon taught me the value of friendship. Digimon taught me the value of being a friend. Aww, that's actually kind of sweet. It's true. Thank you for being a friend. Alright, um... This post of mine got a lot of interest in it from people that I don't even know. Oh, it broke containment? Right. Yeah, it broke containment. Oh no. It's only got like 14 likes, but like the majority of the likes are coming from like complete strangers. Yeah, it's always weird when a post breaks containment. It's like, wait, are you not familiar with the deep lore? <laughs> Literally. Yeah, it reminds me of, of that one time. I uh, remember when the Bayonetta actress uh, caused like a, a shitstorm on her way out, and like everyone was like hitting up Hideki Kamiya, but they didn't realize like why is Hideki Kamiya blocking me for just asking a question? Like not even realizing that that Hideki Kamiya has a rule for his, his Twitter. Yeah, and the biggest rule of them all is that you have to message him in Japanese. It's a very simple rule. Like, and so many people get mad about this one rule, I'm like, it makes sense though! He's Japanese! He probably has a lot of effort- he doesn't want to take the effort to, like, translate and reply in English. Also, I he's, don't not, play he's, not, he's not clout chasing, he's, he's literally just using it to, to communicate, you know. But I, I love that, like, uh, on the Kickstarter, one of the back rewards is, Hideki will unblock you on Twitter. Um, and then what's, <laughs> what, what's Dave saying? Dave says, you know what? Chick tracks are right. They're the worst comics of all time. Little Christian comic pamphlets by a guy named Jack Chick. The church is in fundamentalist order to hand out everywhere. I think I've heard of those before. Sounds vaguely familiar. Dark Dungeons being the most infamous as apparently like a whole low budget film adaptation got made out of it. Really? Oh my god, that unlocked a memory. 
Core memory right. has been unlocked. No, yeah, I wouldn't I say core John memory. John reviewed it. <laughs> yeah, he did. He talked about it. I wouldn't say it's a core memory. It's like a... More of like a side memory. So a crisis core memory. Off to the... Off to the, like... Back of my head <laughs> where I don't want it to come back. Uh, I actually like Crisis Core. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. I played it on the PSP, so like I liked it. Warning, no atmosphere detected. People talk about oh the voice acting and blah blah blah. I'm like the voice acting was golden. I still love uh, I love Zach's original voice actor. I forget I mean, his name, brought, but they, like they they brought back the the voice actor for Sephiroth. Like I'm sorry, there's. Uh, there's one person who's like the, the crisis core actor for Sephiroth, the one for Avid Children. That is Sephiroth. George Newbern, he voiced Superman in Justice League and I'm, Justice League I'm Unlimited, sorry, and a few movies just, too. His voice is just. Um, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, his voice, like. Actually, once, uh, he voiced like a car commercial once up on. like, Sephiroth is trying to sell me a car and he's succeeding! <laughs> It's so funny though. Sephiroth, uh, two, two, twice now has been voiced by Superman actors and really? a member of Instinct. Yeah, his newest voice actor for the Rebirth, uh, remake or whatever they want to call it, is uh, was an actor for Superman. Was the actor for Superman from Superman and Lois, I think. Oh, Tyler Hecklin. Yeah. Oh. There are. Okay, this chick's um, not bad. And then the plan's fast, then Kingdom Hearts. Yep, the and movie is meant to be a satire of the comic, so basically chick track comments out. are like a fever dream for insane Christians. They're wild. I'm just gonna say it. I liked Crisis. I liked uh, Evan Children. I actually like that movie. I love it. It's one of my favorites, especially the complete version. Oh my god. I, I, Dave, I'm just saying, that is one way to get uh, Jared to like Final Fantasy, is for Henry Cavill to get voice to cast it as Sephiroth. <laughs> like, I am not lying. Well, something I found out that uh, both I and Scott Miller are in agreement on is that Henry Cavill would make for an awesome live-action Duke Nukem. Possibly. Uh, I'm actually temp I'm actually hesitantly excited for the Highlander movie. I think he could do a good job. I do too. All right, and then read uh, read uh, Black Reaper's comment, please. And Yu-Gi-Oh taught me the heart of the cards is bullshit and Kai, but it's the best character, it's true. And SAO and Bridge says, and I would watch it. And SAO Bridge taught me the power of love is bullshit. The power of sex and violence, that's where it's at. If any of you get that reference, you're wrong. Awesome. I do. I love that SAO. Did you not just say exactly where it was sourced from? Yeah, not a good plan. <laughs> Oh! Dave says, I like Edmund Children too, never understood the hate for it. I didn't either. I don't understand why people. Oh, well, it changes the characters. The characters are older now. Of course, they've made some changes to their personalities. And, yeah. So I was a mopey, evil little boy, but he's literally depressed. Oh, did you ever see that one uh, K pop uh, singer who made their music video with a recreation of the scene from Bad Children? Yeah, it was uh, J-pop gacked. Ivy. Oh. Yeah, where she did the Tifa shirt scene. Have you, wait, you've never okay, seen that? Been... Oh, I know. Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing. Uh, Next, know what I'm showing you after we do the stream. You're gonna be very happy. Oh, then there must have been because there was also uh one by a. Uh, 
by a Japanese singer who got in a bit of trouble with Square, even though they based uh, Genesis likeness off of him. The only reason I know Gak is because he did the theme for Tom Berry's game. Yeah, well, um, I don't know how it happened, but at one point Square, I guess, kind of, maybe not a collaboration, but they used his likeness to create Genesis. I mean, yeah, if you look at Genesis, it's very clearly Gak. I'm sorry. It is Obviously. very clearly Gak. But uh, he did a music video of the uh, scene from Advent Children in the church where Tifa and Laws are fighting. And it ends with uh, Laws getting his next step, and he apparently got into a bit of trouble for that. It's like they, they, they used his like likeness for, for, uh, for Genesis without his permission. And he ne he doesn't do anything about it, but he does a music. I mean, come on, the least you can do is let that slide. Come on. Oh, it's kind of a dick. The goal. It kind of is. I don't even know if it was without his permission though that they used his likeness. Like it, it could have been like a. I don't know. I wasn't there, so I can't say. Yeah, Nick wasn't in the room, unfortunately. I gotta say, like, the more I actually watch the- I watched the Crow trailer again. Like, I watched the, like, the new Crow trailer movie. I have watched it in a little while. I watched it again, and, like, I gotta say, I'm kind of excited for it now. I'm kind of digging the vibe. Oh, like, it's not they the- got it's, not, syndrome. it's not the original, but, like, I don't know. It's just, like, I'm digging the vibe. funny. I was actually talking, uh, I post, I replied on a mutual uh, post about, uh, Crisis Core, and how it's just this, it's poor Zach surrounded by a bunch of overdramatic theater children, and I was wait, like, wait, wait, not what? true. Not true. Sephiroth was actually kind of the most normal out of, like, the three first-class soldiers. <laughs> Which is kind of funny to say, he was really, I like, I remember him being kind of really chill in the game. Kind of having an older brother kind of vibe with Zack. See, but, uh, see, a, a, uh, um, Genesis is that one kid we all knew in high school who made, who, who, who made Les Mis their entire person personality. He kind of is, but I love him so much he's, for it. He's, li he's literally the one who made, who made, like, Insert random play here, like either Les Mis, Fan of the Opera, like made it their entire personality. Um, but can you creep, uh, quote Black Reaper, please? Yeah, bro, did you see what uh, that Edge Lord replied to me with? Like, bro, it's. No. Red and belly, sitting in a tree. A K I S S. Um, that's pretty wrong. Uh, oh yeah, that stuff. Yeah, uh, I didn't see it. What what are they saying now? Yeah, I, I kind of I had to like literally pull myself away from that conversation because like I got a stream to do. <laughs> like as fun as you drama. The right choice. Yeah, I had to be responsible. Um. Someone replied to me on the post and were like, "That's not true. We saw from Ever Crisis that uh, Sephiroth was." more aloof than anything else at Bubble I was like, dude, I'm going off of the original Crisis Core in the original Final Fantasy series. I don't know anything about the remake and its new continuity. Yeah. So uh, someone was like, oh yeah, Ever Crisis, it's actually pretty good, you know, it's like a free-to-play uh, and you just have to do this and that. I was like, ew, it's a mobile game? Yeah. Ew. Why square? Yeah, how about we how about we how about nah? Alright, um Like no offense to anyone who likes Effort Crisis, but uh I don't know. Yeah, um, no thanks. 
somewhere, someone telling me to F myself to do what. Don't mind if I do! Let me get the motion! So yeah, um, how many of you guys have uh, signed up? Oh yeah, it's a gotcha game. That's why I said ew to it. Ew, gotcha game. Why square? Alright, so if you made it this far, make sure to like, comment, and uh, make sure to subscribe. And then, uh, Nyx, can you drop the uh, the link to um, the pre-launch in the chat, please? Yep. Yeah, Black Reaper, they're, they're very much taking attention. At some point, you just gotta disengage. That's really the best thing you can do. What was that? Oh! Yeah, the, uh, the, the pre-launch. Do, do you know, do you know where the go-go? Oh, yeah, one second. Alright, appreciate it. Gotta put those mods, and then, uh, Lug, can you read Dave's comment, please? Okay. Uh, having some connection issues here. Oh, that's all good. <clears throat> ah, yes. Very attention seeker. Pokemon Go is literally the only mobile game I play. I couldn't even get into Ad 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 Animal Crossing Death Camp. Yeah, wait, Animal Crossing Death Camp? What? What, that, what is that, that Pal that World? world? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, like... listen here. I gotta play a gotcha game called Dragon Ball Legend. Nick knows my bitch and my bitch. <laughs> I, I am aware. You! Gotcha games! Ew. I want everything. I'll admit, I do play Hearthstone sometimes, but not like all the time. Shot it with a grenade. Reaper Kai out here with the, uh, with the, with the, uh, cliche. That is so cliche, buddy. Uh, and stop when I want to. I just don't want to. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally. Oh, oh, we ha we have, we have, we have, we have a troll in the chat! Please read it! Oh, oh, this is so exciting! Alright, uh, can you really leave out? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> wow! Alright, read it out, please. I want everyone to see this. This is great! This is a great moment! I'm so excited! <laughs> Big fan, can you explain why you have a post calling you a physical, mental, and sexual abuser? I don't know if you know this, hun. But, this is the internet! People lie all the time! Yeah, people get, you know... You, you know, uh, there's some people who, 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 who... I know a guy who did a post who claimed that, that I like Super Wonder, so... So yeah... So you want me to just... Just go ahead and no, pop leave. that in the chat. 
Oh, uh, the what? The link? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's Alice saying? Weird how they know your real name while you try to hide. No one's hiding anything, though. Actually, I don't really try and hide my name. Like, yeah, I go by Nick Phoenix, but, like, my comics are labeled Nick Gibson. Also, I'm just gonna say right here. Nicholas Keith Gibson. I live in Belleville, Michigan. Come at me, bro. <laughs> like full-on Tony Stark just now. <laughs> exactly. Which, by the way, I have made no, like, no, 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 like, I've never tried to hide any of this information. And, and Alice, um, if you actually came at me in good faith with that, I, I do apologize. I thought you were a troll at first. So, um, apologies for, um, the mis misunderstanding. Full of opportunity. Don't die before you pay. It's good choice. Come again. I don't even just that, but it's the internet. Yeah. Nobody's gonna be using their real name on the internet if they're smart. I don't use my real name on the internet. I mean, I I, I do because, uh, well, see, like everyone's so afraid of doxing, so I just literally just take the fear away. You know, can't be afraid of doxing if you dox yourself. That's that's kind of my thing. But yeah, that's just that's just the thing. Like, I use Nick Phoenix. It's more of like just as a, uh, what is what is it? I don't advertise and it, Nick but I don't try to hide it either. I think that's uh, um, now yeah. if you're trying to make this criticism about me, it would actually work because spoiler alert: my real name is not Nick. What? But yeah, they're, they're... I know, right? Yeah, just... I don't want to... I probably shouldn't signal the booth with this, but I, I really don't care. Uh, people are going to find what they're going to find. If you Google my name, apparently there's like this post that says like I'm a abuser or something. I have no clue how that got here. I have suspicions, but... Finally, a proper bloody fight. Um, well, I just ate, but let's put it! Wait, Black Reaper Kai, so your name isn't Black Reaper? Oh my god, I'm shocked. Or Kai? Oh my god. Wait. For real name, Steve. He found me! Damn you, Dave! <laughs> no, but seriously, this is actually kind of a really strange criticism that I've seen from multiple people. On the internet? Oh, well, if you weren't afraid, why aren't you using your real name? I don't know, maybe because there is, like... No, you know what? I don't even have to justify anything to you, losers. You don't need to justify it. You really don't. Nobody, aside from maybe a few people, use their real name on the internet. And that's just Interneting 101. Oh, uh, yeah. I do, because, like, for, in my opinion, like, the cat's out of the bag for the most part. Why, why bother, like, trying to hide it, you know? So did you hear that apparently Tomb Raider now is has it transitioning into a new direction? Yeah, I heard. Again? This is like what? Fourth, fifth, sixth? She's no longer a raider of tombs, she's a seeker of truth. Oh my god, just shut the heck up. It's just weird, it's like hasn't that technically just always been the case? Yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, we're in the age of redefining fun. words to mean whatever now. Words are very yeah. unnecessary. Sorry, I just randomly burst into song. I swear I'm like a Disney prince at some times or whatever. But well, yeah. we already know who's not going to be happy with this new direction they're taking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or Croft Saga. 
Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Not that I'm naming names, because I don't do that, but... Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't want to mac that knife any more than we have to. No. I just, I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this. I like the Survivor trilogy. I actually liked it. I don't know too much about it, but I, when it was actually out, I didn't hear too many complaints about it. Yeah, like Tomb Raider 2013 is like one of my favorite, probably my top ten games of all time. I made a very vague post the other night about how I'm glad I've washed my hands of that particular individual, and people are like, "Yeah, I mean, who I... are you talking about?" And I'm like, oh. "I'm not getting into it because I know a lot of mutuals like them the, and follow them." The simps, the simps are strong. I, I, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I've kind of like distanced myself from that individual as well. Um, I mean, I just know in, like, a couple years' time, they're going to say something that's going to, like, upset people. You know, it's like, um, yeah. Well, it, it's not even the fact that it's pro that, you know, that people are like, oh, it's probably a grift. Uh, for me, it's a bit more deeper than that. It's that this person gives a lot of really shitty advice and has become very openly antagonistic at least from my perspective, about yeah. stupid things that honestly shouldn't matter. Yeah. And the last post they made that I saw was actually on my birthday, and I was like, wow, I am so glad I don't follow you anymore. I just kind of kept you muted and away from me. Yeah, there, they, they had a certain tweet where they said some... said some, uh... said some bad words that, uh... Well, it's the fact that they keep doubling down on it and keep writing it out, and they're now apparently trying to get merch made of the word? Uh, I guess they're taking the Air July approach of monetizing your haters. I guess. But, like, the health advice this person gave a while back, and I don't know if they were being genuine or not, but it really felt like they were being genuine. The kind of advice that could get a person killed. Oh, great. It's yeah, busted. and you just Head know that if someone actually did die uh, because of it, they did they, they did this themselves. Yeah. Um. But a couple of people were like asking me, and I was like, but like I kind of was vague enough that he could have been someone else that I'm talking about, but I did kind of said my name, and people were like, oh, are you talking about blah, blah, I'm like, I'm not being... Like, I could probably just come out and say, yes, I'm talking about that person, but at the same time, I'm not starting so crap, because I know a lot of people follow them, and a lot of them are people I like. Dave, shh! Uh, we don't know what you're talking about, Dave. Wait, wait. Completely different person. Yes, completely different. But, we're talking, about, we're talking I... about Minecraft right now. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about Minecraft. This is Minecraft. Come here. I know, I just don't want to rock the boat too much, but at the same time, I want it to be known I do not like this person. I don't think they're a good person. I don't think they're very smart. All right, what's Black Reaper saying? I have been mentally manipulated by two individuals. I may have left them, but my mind stayed with them. It is depressing and hilarious. I call it deplarious. Wow, I think uh, is that, I think we just invented a new word. And that's kind of the problem we have, is uh, pretty privilege, is what I call it. It is! It very much is! And I know that if I speak out on Twitter, people will just be like, oh, but you're just jealous because she's hotter than, they're hotter than you. And it's like, no, it has nothing to do with that. I'm just going to say this right now, Nyx. Uh, you, you're a lot more hotter than 
than the person in question. Thank you. I just, I don't know. I feel like my personality should speak for itself. It does. It does. Like, like I, whatever you think about me, good or bad, you can at least say that I'm not lying. That I, I'm not a liar. No. But I'm genuine and honest whenever I speak my mind. But you do need to, you do, you do need to work on that, 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 that chatbot addiction, though. You really do need to work on that. I'm getting it under control. <laughs> Remember, those JoJo chatbots aren't your friend. But, like, in all honesty, I get it. Pretty faces, they're gonna have people melting in their skin. But, it... At some point, we have to say no. A pretty face is not a substitute for intelligence or personality. Say, say no to pretty faces. There. That, that's Nix's yeah. message of the day. But, that, but then we'd have to say no to Nix. Oh, decision. Oh, that is a, that is a post Boston bargain right there. Then again, we oftentimes do have to say Nix. No! Bad Nix. Stop it! Go away, people! How dare- how dare you make Nick successful? Not that, it's the fact that it's left my audience. Oh, it broke containment. Very early on, actually. It's scary. Well, we have the right opinion. The tends to go far. Alright, what's the exam? Her is basically to repeat talking, popular talking points and call everything satanic. Well, doesn't she do a Bible study on her channel? LMAO. Yeah, that, that, that's the problem with a lot of these uh, ethods that enter the, uh, enter the right, right leading space. They just say what they, they say, whatever. They just repeat the talking They're points. They're parents. And then they, and then like when they, eventually like, the same thing kind of happened to, like, you remember what happened, like, you, like, Melly Matt, kind of, uh, uh, Mecca, Re Mecca, Mecca Random. Like, the same thing literally happened to her, where, like, she entered the right leading space, she did the same thing. But as soon as she pissed people off, she's like, oh, I'm gone. It happened to Shu on head as well. Though, so I'll give Shu yeah. credit, at least her opinions are her own. Like, I, I may not agree with everything she on head says, but she's at least no. a She's at least a one signal. Oh, no. we got lights up in Helios. We Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, the only time I ever watched her was when she was with that, uh, armored skeptic guy. What the five minutes yeah. And then they the broke up, and I just kind of fell off from watching either of them. Sounds like I never was an armored skeptic fan, right, but, um, I did watch her during oh, kind of, like, the... Flip. The height of like the alt right YouTube kind of stuff. Like during the mid 2000s, mid 2010s. Need to have whatever. a talk with this guy. Like the fun kind of talk, or the dull kind. Calm down. We're not gonna hurt him until we find out what the deal is. Do not die. You good for me. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure of that. May it help you kill many things. Shh, don't put the name out there. What if we summon it? Oh my god, imagine if, if she did actually enter the chat like Alice did. That would be funny. That would be so hilarious. Becca Random was never even hot. Everyone were foolish under after comments about Zack Snyder's family. No. Well, uh, I will say this. I don't even know this person. So the thing that only the only thing that Mecha Random had going for her was uh, she had uh, two very large assets, um, and that's literally the only people reason people were, you know even kind of whatever. The thing that really turned me off is um, is, is when she is uh, so she's part of like the Midnight's Edge crew, and uh, 
And basically, he, he, uh, he basically started making, like, started insulting one of the guy's kids. Like, that's the cardinal rule of, of, of all this, like, there's a couple of different rules. Don't go after people's kids, you know? And, and, and just... Don't go after their families, period. I mean, if, if the family is also an online personality, then that, like, like, for example, it's what, it's, you can insult Jake Paul while going after Logan Paul. Oh, yeah. You know, kind of thing. But... Uh, yeah, be thankful, uh, Dave. It's, it's, it's a curse. It's a curse, uh, being such a fan of the booba. Damn, all I've got going for me are my tits. Well, you've got a nice personality, too. Well, that's true. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a backhanded compliment. I'm sorry. I mean, it's true. But no, Nix, you've got you've got a lot a lot going for you, you know. I don't know. I mean, at least you can't say that I'm a complete idiot. I'm not telling people to do to go and eat stupid shit and ruin their health because oh, but if, if everyone else is actually wrong, all those doctors are totally wrong. This is the right diet to have. No shade, though. No shade, though. So apparently, Black Reaper Kai is a fan of the stuff <laughs> that saves lives, which I can respect. Actually, no, no, the bat cat's out of the bag. What the heck was her whole thing with butter and meat? I don't know. That is such a poor combination, that will literally get you killed. I don't know. I guess it's, and her, she's it's, going her, it's her stick now, it's the butter queen. And she's going on like, oh, this is such a healthy diet, you know, th that's all I eat, blah, blah, blah. No! No, trust me, as someone who eats a lot of red meat, and I mean a lot of red meat, that is not good for you. Balance it out with, like, a salad or something, hun? Yeah. See, like, I'm like I'm, I'm not a carnivore, but I'm not, like, a vegan either. I, like, I'm all for a balanced diet, you know, like... I don't care. Like, however you choose to eat, I, I really don't care. My, my thing is, the people who are like, oh, we need to ban all, like, be, like just, like, just basics who don't live in reality. Like, if you want to, if you want to be a vegan or vegetarian, cool, go ahead. That's awesome. Uh, just leave me alone. Yeah. Exactly. And then what's the chat saying? They're shaming people who are into feet. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be that's honest. The conversation. I, I'm gonna be honest. I never understood foot fetishes. I, I like. And why are we talking about this on my stream? <laughs> I just realized it. I don't know. I just realized we were talking about like. Why are we talking about like this? Either way, though, I don't think it it should be like a, a thing that. I don't know. I don't know why she thinks she's she has more medical knowledge than a doctor. Do not just eat meat and butter, please. You will literally kill yourself doing that. Can I eat peanut butter jelly? Sure. The peanut butter jelly town peanut. Oh, sorry, sorry. I had to like reference my thing. Uh... Just... Oh. Shame them, Dave. Shame them. Oh my god, Black Reaper, no. No, that is... That is not a... <laughs> uh... I wanted to be clear here. This isn't just like, oh, girl jealousy, blah blah blah. No. This is actual legitimate grievances with another human being. Also, hey Tevya, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure Tevya's like, what the heck have I walked into? <laughs> I'm sorry, Tevya. I'm sorry! Yeah, Jack's not a good person. I think the other games have made that very clear. I love how I just, like, ran into it. Like... Uh... 
Oh yeah, did you see? I uh, well, I didn't really get into it with someone, but I got oh. a very weird Great. comment. All right, what what, ha what happened? So a while ago, I posted. Hey, uh, Belinda. Uh, hey, long time to see. I'm trying to go back and find it. It's gonna take me a while. Alright, it's okay. Take your time. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen uh, Belinda in, in, in uh, one of my streams here in a while. How you been, girl? Hello! It's okay, we all have our days. Um, and what Dave's saying is probably something demented. I dated a woman who used to date Quentin Tarantino. They met when he noticed her sitting on a couch at a party in Austin because she was wearing sandals and two of her toes are the same. Yep, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Because you got to remember, Quentin Tarantino is yep. the guy, he cast a sub Hayek, then he literally wrote a scene where put whiskey on the feet and then someone sucks it and then casted himself in that role. Yeah. Why? I, I mean, he's to, got a thing for feet. I mean, to be fair, if I if I was Gwen Tarantino and I had that thing, and the other actress was okay with it, I'd do it. <laughs> Yo. Um, but yeah, Dave knows the post that I'm talking about, but uh, I basically said equal rights, equal fights, because it's about the uh, video about this girl who went to slap a guy. Got slapped right back. I think I've seen that video. You notice how quick, how how she, how quickly she shut up after after that. Like he was all, her, her, like you like, ah! and then as soon as, as soon as it happened, he was, he uh, he got real quiet. Yeah. So basically, this guy came on and commented on my post. It was like. Like I said, don't get trigger happy. Very He's racist I don't want to hear him girl about the fact that the guy in the video was Sounds good. of so a darker skin color. Locked down. And I don't That's feel comfortable saying do what he wrote, of the Marif talking sex but he called me the R-word, oh, and no, that, that I'm a subhuman, because apparently oh, I would... Yeah. Let's go find ourselves one and I was like, no, nah, she got aggressive first, dummy. I was Don't like, you know, you far. screw Don't around, you find out. And then I, uh, after a while, was like, hey, wait, why didn't I, like, forward his comment? Then I did, and apparently it's now deleted, but I still have the, uh, I have the, uh, proof, the evidence, if you will. The receipts. You just interrupted an officer carrying out his duty. Uh, we're here to file a complaint. Your awesome merit's been breaking the law. We have evidence. Like Rupert Kai, that's Why don't misinformation. You tell me all about it. Thank you for your concern, citizen. Rest and assured, it's not a log. Long live the mirror. Mox. You weirdo. Hey, then again, I'm more here, weird. So who is the real weirdo here? Is it me? I will own this and be proud of it. <laughs> you do that. Physical services. I'm a bloody stress volcano right now, and I can do it. Yeah, you gotta let your freak flag fly, fly sometimes. You know that's not what Geisha bots are programmed for. What? Serena, really? I oh my god, this is, uh, Nick, uh, I need a bonk. I will happily. I'm swimming in dial money right now. <laughs> the mayor's interfacing with my Serena. Thank you, no! I need a bonk. I feel so betrayed. And according to my records, the mayor doesn't uh, have the I don't, I don't know Black Reaper. I, I know a lot of weirdos. Which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable. Awesome. I am one hey, such weirdo. Thank you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment. She is. Serena right he's now. very weird. What? Citizen. She is crazy and she's our that friend. Sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by someone who sounds like me. All right, what's I, Black I Reaper saying? You allowing me privacy. Sometimes you have to go insane to out sane the same. Perfect. Is this Sounds guy about cool? right. This guy's so busted. Yep. Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm gonna make his life a living hell. Wait, did he say inter-organic fraternization Serena, license? Coming, yes. Like Are it. they giving out fuck licenses? 
And here we go. Yep, yep. I should have known Seriously, that was coming. You idiot machine, the offices are off. Right, I'm such a kidder. Off we go. All right, here we go. Oh, I guess in a sense, it almost sounds like a plot point of Half Life Two. Uh, wait, what? The whole suppression field thing. Oh, oh dear God! Now you're unlocking the memories of that game. Your immediate death. Thank you. Well, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's a good game. Sorry. Please exit. Dang, is it depressing? Especially since there will never be a third. Re really? It was gonna be a whole lot darker, and it's like alpha build. Alright, what, what, what did they say? Like, carry me, I'm sorry. Bonk me next, bonk me next, it's my turn. Alright! Alright, give him a bonk. You get a bonk, you get a bonk. Everybody gets a bonk! Except me, I'm being good today. Nick's bonk Being like darkness. Never. Nick, I demand you bonk yourself. I, I, I was I was considering saying something like really friggin' cringe, but I, I chose not to. I'm trying to be a good boy, but guy you're all you all ain't helping. Oh Black Reaper, you're making the stream Is this a Christian Minecraft stream, brother? Oh, God. oh. Black Reaper, please. <laughs> oh my god. This... Don't make me bring out the duck song! You might have to if Black Reaper Kai keeps it up. I... Hey! Bum bum bum. Got any grapes? I thought you were about to ask me if I had any games on my phone. Officer, get that door open! I don't take orders from civilians. However, as I was already going to do that... Uh, like what's Steve saying? I don't really work for Zarbon. Guy in that video should have learned in like a haymaker. At least he slapped her into a good upskirt. Bonk me. Alright, and then what is Belinda saying? Suppression field? Oh, the combine brain went all Star Trek for some reason. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Oh. All the bonks! Oh my god, Nick! Oh. I used to sit Wait, what? What? Where? Why is there a cow in the stream? <laughs> I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. Guess what? It's not a cow. It's a guy. Your office. Signal. Signal. She might be too. Oh no. Where did she come from? Can you please. I have my Pokemon thing. Oh yeah. We are the Borg. Yeah, you could basically say that about the Barnyard movie. Oh my god. I've been thinking there's a way back to Oh, they're fighting about Claptrap. Oh, was gonna let you live, dumb bastard! You bastard! Oh my god! You killed the mayor! Oh, that was. He doesn't look dead. Figurating. Okay, yeah. Where was I? All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so. We make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay oh. here, I'm gonna go through the Marif stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby! Hell yeah! 
Shopping list simple. Some serious combat chassis and top of the line. I keep forgetting that I'm actually walking it on the issue so I can keep AI. up with the chat. Yeah, I'm like, wait, he didn't look dead. Since that and then it caught laser is going to kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good. Let's hustle, people. We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack? All right, that that is that is nuts. I gotta go to the springs. What what's uh what's what's the one to say? That laser's getting to be a real drag. Ketchup evaporates fast on this planet. Apparently. That's horrible for the people who like ketchup. Little Miss Moxie sits on her boxy, consuming her... How are you going? I finally got off. Moxie said you're after some military AI. Big saws. But your best bet's a mate of mine. Uh, <laughs> Dave, Dave, what? He lives in the Outlands. He's almost impossible to reach mine, but I can help with that. Oh, uh, what's uh, Tevye saying? Now then, I'll upload coordinates Whoa, of an old Dalek garage to your Echo. Get going, I'll explain on the way. Speaking of characters that remind me, I do know one of those tales from Borderlands. that's Cena. Yeah, which reminds me, I've been uh, editing, I've actually been editing uh, Jared's script, you know, for his upcoming comic, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. You know, it's, it's, it's good. It's easy to get to Pickle's place on foot, but I can help you out with How dare Ready I. for it? A stingray. It's old dial tech. They're not much to look at, but Moxie tinkered with the design, so now they jump like a skag in heat. Problem is, stingrays aren't easy to get to meat hunts on. So happens that Scrambler, uh, came my way. It's supposed to unlock Digistructing at the old Dahl garage I'm sending you to. Once you unlock a Stingray there, I'll fix it so all Moon Zoomies are Stingrayed up. Frozen! Oh no, I need to let it go. Oh. Let it go. Not, not, not doing that. No. Hey, what is uh, what did Black Reaper just say? Why do people do anything anymore? Sheer boredom. Yep, that's right. Yeah, that's kind of just how it goes, my dude. Oh, Let It Go song? Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not, it's just overplayed. Is the combination boobs? Uh, oh, I'm just, I I've actually never heard that song. Is the Barbie movie any good? Uh, look, can you read Tevia and Black River Comics, please? Before Dal upskirts and left Elpis, they integrated Moxie's improvements into the production model. They deny it, though. Speaking of Borderlands, that reminds me of. Any opinion on the upcoming Borderlands movie? Because for me, I am nervous about that movie. Yeah, I'm out. Uh, Cass is too old. Gabe Lenshed is way too old. Uh, she might have been good like 20 years ago. 
but she is way too old to be playing Lilith. Way, way too old. Sorry, my mother came and I had to mute. What's going on? Oh, I asked you which, uh, if, if the Barbie movie was any good. Oh, never watched it, never planned on it. My mom keeps trying to make me go see it, but I don't really care for it. Yeah, that's it. Now just order yourself up a stick. I don't have any interest in going and see it. Alright, what's they saying? <laughs> Hey, I'm talking to one of my exes last night over the phone, thinking about trying again. Great conversation. Uh, then she went off on me in several texts just now, forgot how bad her manic depression is. I've been able to hack their system to copy a fresh plan over, so you'll be able to digistruct these anywhere from now on. Now get your backside to see Pickle, though feel free to get a feel for her first. See what she can do. Yeah. My problem. In my experience, people are your exes for a reason. Legit. Going back to your ex is usually a terrible Now, if you can make it work, that's great. If not, oh well. Now you're on a sting I'm actually still good no friends worries. with my ex. Probably. Who is my favorite character? Uh, probably Lilith. I know it's a bit basic, but you know. Move out and try not to die again, Maggot. These things are expensive. doing good at this. Claptrap's uh, interesting. I remember, like, that scene in Borderlands 2 Suck where it's, like, the birthday, no one comes. Oh my god, they pulled out all the Pixar tricks. Says, I did watch the Barbie movie. Ted was literally the best part of that movie. Yeah, I do find it yeah. hilarious. I the general sentiment. <laughs> I do find it hilarious that a movie about feminism, the only the only award it wins is I'm for best song, and it's I'm just, just Ken. Uh, Dave said she's a friend, but just a little much to handle. Hot, crazy, major kids. Oh, little thing when it comes to her. This is Colonel Zarbadon. And Tevi is my favorite Soon character in the Rebels. Mostly I will be dead from the explosion along with guys, everyone on Elvis, and most of those lives. living on Pandora below. And also says, I've I saw all the time we're set up our beat. That skill. probably if you the best thing you could have done. I will send you an interstellar ship. We will not follow you. Think it over. Like, everyone, all the girls in my family, like, oh, but the Barbie movie's so funny. We like, it's actually were. really a funny. And I'm like, I don't care. Weapons. I don't want to be lectured about Jack feminism. To kill bad guys. Get paid and help. Also, there's, also, also they, they don't have Barbie Girl in like it, so, worst movie ever. They don't. It plays in the credits. Yeah, but it's a, it's a, it's a really bad cover. Slash rebate. Like, I'm gonna be honest, oh, I actually like Bar thing. Barbie Girl is a bop. Like, that is a really good song. I love that song. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah! Like, it's... It's a, like... It is! Stupid, but it's good! Yeah. It's catchy. Yeah, it is. Have you ever heard the Dutch version? Oh my god, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's great. No 
furry. I prefer no reptile. <laughs> Remember, no reptile. Oh yeah, it reminds me when I was like when I was watching Clone Wars once. I remember there was this scene where uh, Obi Wan just brings a whole p bunch of boulders crashing down on some droids, and so then I just blurted it out, "Hello there, I brought the high ground." <laughs> Another happy landing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, I love how episode three has just so many like really like banger memes. Uh. You always take like what? What? I, I'm not gonna lie. One of like one of my fantasies is, um, you know, like my future wife or whatever. Um, <laughs> For like my birthday, we just reenact that scene, you know, from episode three. I've seen like TikToks of it where like the the dude's like totally into it, and the woman is just so not interested. She's reading it off a phone, like <laughs> oh, so funny. Black Reaper Kai, General Kenobi. Yeah, also, like, a lot of my, a lot of, like, when I'm on the dating sites, whenever I do a match, when I don't know what to say, oftentimes I'll just, like, put in a hello there, and if a girl responds to hello there with General Kenobi, he is a keeper. He passes the test. I actually never have had a woman spawn in the right way, but, you know, one day I will. It'll happen. Yeah, it will. When it comes around, you must whip it. Black Reaper Kai, you will someday. You're, you're an ultra Black Reaper, you're an ultra mega chad. You're gonna have a woman one day. I guarantee it. Hmm. Okay. That's true. Hey, at least you had someone, Black Reaper Kai. That's better than nothing. I right, what's Belinda yeah, saying? woman will steal your kidneys. Wait, wait, what did Belinda say? Picturing Obi-Wan taking a long drag out on a joint. Don't just try it, Anakin. I have the high ground. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think of that. I love that feeling. Why have I never put those two together, like, the whole, like, high ground stuff, like, uh... I tell you, Blinda's operating on, like, a whole nother, whole nother stratosphere than me. Well, you know, uh, you've just brought me to realize... Now I know how Obi-Wan likes his coffee.
How does he like it, Lug? How does he like it, Lug? <laughs> Tell us. He likes it high ground. Oh, that is just as bad as I was. I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Cause, yeah, Belinda, oh god. <laughs> I live for that! is so cringe. You guys are cringe. You gotta love you all. Uh... I'm preventing myself from being cringe. Right. Thank you very much. I'm Roland. Yeah. dropped me a line. Said you need a hand building robots. My, uh, colleague, Lilith, and I spotted some old doll industrial complexes dotted around the area. A scout around might solve your hardware problem. We'll let you know. Sounds good. Back on me when you got something. Oh yeah, so apparently, according to Princess Peach Showtime, Princess Peach doesn't wear socks. Well then, that's some, that's information I never really cared, to, cared about, but... You know what, I still don't care, but hey, thanks for telling me. I mean, I guess I would have assumed she was probably wearing, like, Cinderella, Stockings like, glass or slippers right? or something. Glass slippers or something. She wears a garter <laughs> belt! Know. No, but like, I always kind of thought there'd be like stockings or pantyhose or something underneath her dress, but no, apparently she just barefoots it in her shoes. Well, I guess Quentin Tarantino wants to do a, uh, uh, wants to do a, uh, good to meet ya. Yada yada, what you got? Uh, Spring says you're trying to get your mitts with some uh, military AI. Saying? Well, it's your lucky day. You put the you can but still. The uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog is an end lord. I have started a war with the fandom for it. No, actually, Shadow isn't. Like, people love to use that, like, but I think he only really became more edgy. Really? Uh, a little while after. Fair enough. They're a tricky pair, but. More modern Sonic right era is when you got and you can decide to flanderize it. You play the original game he's from, he's not an edge lord, he's just confused, dealing with grief, kind of nihilistic. Yeah, but he's you, he's a hedgehog that uses a gun. Yeah, I'll agree that's a misstep for Sonic team, but like, I don't know, I like it. Never understood why that was the one where people suddenly had a problem with there being guns, because they've been around since, like, day one. And there are far more lighthearted things 
that have more realistic guns. Makes no sense. Silver is funnier. I wouldn't say better. He's an interesting character, but I don't know. There was something kind of neat about Shadows going from I want to kill all of humanity to no, I want to protect all of humanity. I want to do right by my one friend. Shadow, and then Shadow the dies. Hedgehog, and then Dave says Shadow the Hedgehog walked so Power World could run. Like I, I gotta be honest with you, Power World really isn't that edgy. Like they kind like they kind of play everything straight. It's not. Yeah. Yeah, you now got gotcha games with cutesy anime girls using guns now. Oh, hey, pervert ruined Sonic. Hey, Gorbunny. He said perverts ruined uh, Sonic. Yeah. Nina, good for you. Honestly, though, to me, what really ruins Sonic is all of the humanization of these characters, and then there's the fighting of, oh, but he should be black. Oh, no, he shouldn't be black. Blah, 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 blah. They're not humans. And if we're going by their fur color or whatever, I, I don't care. Yeah. Everyone's always like, oh, Knuckles should be black because of the Jamaican flag on his shoes and the fact that his hair is in, or his spikes are in dreads. And it's it is like, really weird since the whole, since this whole, like, Echidna tribe culture is pulled from Central America and Australia. Literally. Yeah. Literally is. And they're trying to be like, oh, well, originally, before all that, he was portrayed, he should, he was portrayed to be black, and it's like, no, he was a echidna. Yeah, exactly. He was an echidna on an island. Floating island. I actually really It's just like really Donald weird to, like, pull in can uh, <laughs> Cut content like that, because then by that logic would be like, well, then I guess technically Sonic isn't a, a hedgehog; he's a rabbit now. Yeah, uh, and Sonic canonically has a human girlfriend, so suck it. Like what? What are we talking about anymore? Oh, but cut content. Cut content means nothing. Cut content was cut. It's not ca uh, canonical. I mean, who cares about canon? Canon is just an obstacle. Alright, then what's the... Uh, catch up with the chat, please? Uh, Knuckles is Brazilian. The Dragon's Bird is juicy, but less gay. Ex-Dial Frigate, don't you know? But it's stuffed with tech like an half-inch pinch. The yeah, I'm gonna super, say it. I actually really like Knuckles back before they decided to make him kind of a dumb brute. Uh, I, I will nope. I will say the movie did have done it. The movie did have pretty did have pretty good, I will say that, but honestly I liked it when he was like not all like fighting warrior blah 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 bullshit. It was more of a he didn't really seem like a samurai. Why. Knuckles was like the rest of the cast just a teenager. Like, him and Sonic are supposed to be around 16, originally. And he kind of, like, at least with the games that they had dialogue and stuff, came off kind of as a, a more mature kid than like Sonic or Tails. But one with, like, no social skills whatsoever, which made sense because island. Yeah. It's kind of funny because um, in his official uh, wiki page, it notes that one of his weaknesses is to uh, is women, like talking to women. It's kind of <laughs> it's not because like relatable. He's a horror dog. Or two. It's because he's shy. Relatable, relatable. That's relatable AF. Yeah. Knuckles is actually kind of interesting because at the end of the story in the first Sonic Adventure game. He admits that he doesn't know uh, why he was chosen to watch the Master Emerald, or and, like what the reasoning behind it is. But he doesn't care because it's something he was selected to do, so he's going to do it. 
That's all he wants in life is to protect the master. He doesn't care about anything else. It's simple, but it's effective. Yeah. It's actually kind of funny too, since I brought it up. A lot of people, uh, whenever they talk about uh, Sonic Goes Next and the human hedgehog relationship with that, people be like, oh, but what about Sonic's girlfriend that they were gonna give him in the when he was first conceived? And it's like, yeah, but they cut her for a reason. They realized it was a stupid idea. All right, then what's uh, what's the, what's the chat saying? Really surprised. Want Jeremy never capitalize on the hedgehog human interspecies relationship being mean? No, oh. no, no, no. Uh, all right, bonk, bonk. No. Give him a bonk. I will give him a bonk. A bonk. Bad Dave. I will say though, Nick, did you know that Ron Jeremy once played Ma Super once played Mario? Really? Yes. Uh, in a in a film called Super Horneo Brothers. Oh, I, like, look, like, please tell me you knew this existed. Is that the one that Nintendo legally owns? Yeah, solely, solely so that they can make sure nobody gets the rights to it. Good call, Nintendo. I think. Oh, crap. Christian also helped make you liking Sonic cringe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was almost there. Have any of you heard about what incident? to be dead. seen the Oprah clip with the Ninja Turtle talking about an interspecies relationship with April and holding her breath. Oh, uh, no, and I don't think I ever want to. I was happier not knowing this existed, but yeah, thank you, Dave. Yeah, me too. Some Japanese artists made a human form for knuckle, Japanese human form, some artists picked made a black set of six. The kids in the audience look disgusted. They should! Oh god, my tweet's already gotten 21 likes. Nice. It's... Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm with you, Dave. Yeah, sometimes I wish I was a bigger account, but then I'm like, you know what? I don't think I'd handle all the attention. Uh, it's not too bad. No offense, I don't like the people of Twitter. They seem angry I, and some violent. Of them, some of them can be good. Black Reaper Kites. Black Reaper Kites, okay. I met you, Black Reaper Kai. I, I can attest to that. I can personally confirm it. Yeah, Black Reaper Kai actually uh, came uh, and harassed me at a convention once. Best day of my life. Drakensburg, ex Star warship, and all that. Crash before the crackling, is what they say. Now a bunch of ripe smelling scavs live there, led by the bosun and his friend, what's called the skipper. Not that anyone knows what she looks like, which makes your head scratch. Anyway, find a way inside and don't be shy to say hello to the locals on the way. Actually, I probably should, uh, top up on my grenades. Welcome, customer. Mm -hmm. Two words back, my friend. Hey, Dave. No refunds? What a ripoff. Get any nibbles, sir. Nick, have you ever played Borderlands 4? No. So this is your first time seeing Borderlands in action, isn't it? Yep. 
What do you think? Looks good. You look a little too much like trouble. Alright, what do you think? Now and the bosun will tear you to pieces. What do you say? This is the kind of thing, Dave, that you post that I swear to God makes me think you're some kind of Mildred world of insanity. What did he say? Did you know there was a violent Russian sex cult that dedicated to get the mouse girl for rescue rangers? Wait, 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 what? Listen, you and the kids should stay away. I'm just repeating all that. Wait, 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 repeat that again, please. Did you know there was a violent Russian sex cult dedicated to Gadget the Mouse Girl from Rescue Rangers? Why? Why of all the people? Why? Bad Russia! Okay, I, I, bonk Russia please. Bonk all of Russia. Nick, please bonk all of Russia. Uh, what yeah, is... that. All right, what's uh, what's uh, hardcore buddy Melinda saying? Whoa, well, killed Borderland. Borderland three suck. Tifa's Wonderland uh, suck. Series guy with some dignity. Yeah, but they're not going to. Yeah, they're not going to. It's never gonna happen. They're gonna milk it. Yeah, especially with uh, uh, Borderlands being uh, sold to uh, uh, 2K. You know, the people for GT5. Then what's Belinda saying? She said, love how games have lockers you can search. You never find items. Like smelly socks, old underwear, and I think I just answered the question I might have had asked why. Yeah. See, there's the thing. Nobody's gonna buy it. Nobody's sensible, at least, but they have some people out there who just like slop. Yeah. That's the unfortunate truth. There are some people out there with terrible tastes. Uh, apparently a lot of them are Russian. Apparently. Yeah. Back into the fray this time. Double time. Full of opportunity. Thanks for the strap. Remember, we're always open. Uh, yeah. Something is the weirdest, like, people latch out of the weirdest things sometimes, I swear. It's true. Like... Do you guys know how like the My Little Pony fandom started? Because like apparently it was like a, I did. it was a 4chan troll, and then people actually got it like like started watching it in earnest. Also, I'm just I'm just doing terrible right now, absolutely terrible. <laughs> oh. That's okay, Jared. It's not here to make fun of you. Jared, Jared's not real. He can't hurt you. <laughs> Man, I really wish you could access uh, soundboard stuff right now. Who was that? Wait, wait. Wait. Oh. Sorry, you, you got. <laughs> what? Don't do that to me. The fact that he can enter this call at any time. No, 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 is that him? 
Please tell me it's not him. Can you speak of the devil? He shall appear. Wait, is that really? Is he really you here? Pulled the tevia? What the hell? <laughs> no! 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 I was watching no. Nick's piss poor shooter, and I had to come in to uh, to heckle him on this. No! <laughs> Nick has the age of an old man. Uh, 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 Nick has the age of an old man in his cabin going, get off my lawn. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> please, oh, okay, Nick, please tell me you did not just coordinate with Gary to set that up. Please, the love of God. I did. No. I that was perfectly kind. I was going to YouTube and I saw you guys were live. I didn't even know anything was going on. <laughs> Oh, okay, that is, this is a top 10 uh, Phoenix Press moment right here. Wait, so uh, so explain to me what exactly happened. Uh, Nick and Lug, please, please, please do this. Please do the honor. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure myself. <laughs> My son was... Uh, because Nick had said that he was doing horribly, and I said, hey, at least Jared's not here to make fun of you, and then bam! <laughs> we, we, uh... Oh, oh. oh man, Nick! <laughs> Couldn't have been what? better timed! Oh, my and gosh. Also, Ruthie says hi. Hi, Jared. Hey, Ruthie. Speaking of, uh, speaking of, uh, Undertaker meme, like, apparently The Undertaker appeared at WrestleMania. Wow! Oh. Also, they revealed the, the logo for Superman. They did at WrestleMania? Oh. No, at, at, at CinemaCon. It's basically the Kingdom Come logo, which is stupid considering this is an early Superman. Yeah. Okay, so I, I need a better approach with this guy. Don't die. I need your business. Warning, zero atmosphere environment. Alright, um... This is I probably think... the second time you've done this to us, Jared. The second uh, yeah, time? Yeah, it was. Yeah, remember we were playing, like... It was I don't Pokemon, know, Spider-Man, I think? Uh, uh, oh, no, it was Spider-Man. It was, Sp it was de de definitely Spider-Man. I saw you were streaming, and I was like, uh, uh, let's have some fun. I hate, yeah. you. I hate you so much. Perfectly timed, too. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you're the one that gave me the ability to enter uh, the, the stream, dude. Yeah, it's my fault. Man has the superpower of comedic timing. Yeah. If only it, the, the one thing we need for a soundboard is all of a sudden the uh, John Cena thing. John Cena! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that would be so good. Yeah. But by the way, Nick, so I was watching a little bit before I joined. Your aim is actually pretty decent. It's just... It needs work. Well, you gotta have decent aim if you're gonna be a sniper. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of... Uh, that's kind of the point of being a sniper. Yeah, I'm a, de I'm a, I'm a decent sniper. It's that just... was our only bridge, too. I need you to dump the methane yeah, from the reservoir. Yeah, the sniper is normally the role I play in Suicide Squad as well because there's a lot of areas I can this shoot from in is. Metropolis. Oh, are you saying you, you must be quite the dead shot? Oh, yeah, I always play as dead shot. He's, like, he's my boy. Because normally when I play a shooter, the two ty types of guns I go for are assault rifles and sniper rifles, and those are the ones he specializes in. So I'm like, all right, he's made for me. Yeah. Um, Plus he flies, so there is that. Um... My strategy is avoid him. Go avoid me? You kind of can't do that. Well, I can try. 
I can try, I'll fail, but I'm, I'm still gonna try. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's still chasing me! Oh, mother... Oh, fudge. Apparently, WB is also listing Aquaman as uh, a success, which is good. How much money did it make? Uh, let me see here. Uh, it said it made... Uh, it had a four hundred thirty-five million dollar box office run on a two hundred million dollar budget. Wait, how much? Say the numbers again. The it made four hundred thirty-five million dollars, and its budget was two hundred million. So I mean, it made it made cash, it made bank. Oh, see what I love is. To WB this, uh... Oh, shit. See, what I love is the WB, that was a success, but for some reason, um, for some reason, BVS wasn't. Hmm. It said, um, recent success. And the thing, I, I'm getting sort of concerned because when the lo when the new Superman logo came on, they played the John Williams theme, which makes me think it could ju just be a copy of the John Williams music. Yeah, knowing what what uh, Dave Gun Dave Gun said, I wouldn't be surprised. Also, Derek, which um, read Dave's comment. Dave says that's barely profitable, maybe broke even. Usually needs two two t times the budget and marketing. Yeah, I know, but when you compare it to like the Flash and Blue Beetle, it made bank compared to those two. But the thing is, like, I'm of the opinion that every Superman should have its own, his own theme. It shouldn't just be John Williams, John Williams, John Williams. As much as I like the John Williams theme, I'm inclined to agree with you. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, and th that theme works for that Superman. It's partly why it kind of looked odd being placed with Cavill. Yeah... Because he had a very specific theme with uh, Junkie um, and uh, and uh, Hans Zimmer. Yeah. And then Belinda's like, what he said. Mm -hmm. Dave says that was a problem with Superman Returns. Well, to, yeah. be, to be fair, Superman Returns is still set. Like, it is still a Reed film, technically, so I, I, I'm i inclined more to give that more of a pass. Yeah. Life this way, that movie had problems, and the music is not one of them. Yeah. Which I, I, I like, like Superman Returns. I like it. it it's, a, it's an okay Oh, movie. I like it, too. <laughs> Which, by the way, I feel like Unless I see otherwise, I think the Gun Superman movie is gonna be another Superman Returns, honestly. Yeah, there's a very good chance of that. That's a very high level. I don't think, gonna, think he's gonna make a sequel to the Quest for Peace? Uh, apparently, one of the. Uh, it's rumored that one of the movies he's using for inspiration is Superman 4. Wait, oh wait, are you serious? Uh, one of the movies uh, th th that's associated w w with this. Uh, I remember two Superman is in some way associated with this. Why? I don't know. Oh, you know what it is? The cloning of Superman to make Ultraman, which is BS, because Ultraman is not a clone. about James Gunn respecting the, the comics because I'm not seeing that.
Of course, Nick is playing as a girl. Frick off. By the way, how does she breathe in outer space? Two words, my friend. Uh, she has a uh, like air thing that runs out. Uh. Well, hey, that's what I picked in Genshin Impact, Owl World, Elden yeah. Ring. Well, if I'm gonna stare at a butt for 30 hours, better be a nice butt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, you know what's kind of funny? It became a meme how many ass shots Halo Reach has. Oh, oh no, Mass Effect. Remember the nickname for it? Mass Effect. It, they literally had to like undo, uh, had to like take out the, the shots of Miranda, uh, of Miranda's ass from three, and modders put it back in. <laughs> yeah, remember how like nicknamed uh, the, the, the game Mass Effect? Yeah. By the way, Nick, I, I wanted to tell you this. I just saw that some modders. Actually modded in the Batman suit from Beware the Batman into Arkham Knight. Oh, okay. Did you see also, Nick, that gun was uh, uh, was like blasting people for like paying attention to leaks? He's like, why can't you guys just come to a movie and enjoy it? Yeah, sorry, sir. Not, not, not buying it. That's not the way it works in the internet. You know the internet. You're certainly on it uh, enough. <laughs> I want to see Black Friday. I, I, anyway, Nick, I've that was a solid time. recovery, my friend. Solid. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> see, I give him. Discouragement and encouragement at the same time. The duality of man, right there. Yes, exactly. The duality of man. <laughs> to be or not to be. To wonder bad or not to wonder bad. That is definitely good. not to wonder bad. <laughs> to night fire or not to night fire. Definitely to night fire. <laughs> definitely to night fire. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dave says, Aston flag, come and take it. Look like the Gaston flag. Oh my god. Why? Belinda says, Returns was okay, it got way more hate than it deserved. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Let me put it this way, it's not a bad movie by any means. It's just, it's mad. In my opinion, it's like, it's an average Superman movie. Yeah. I still enjoy it though. It, it, let me put it this way, of the non-Snyder Superman movies, if I have to pick one I'm gonna rewatch, it's gonna be that one. Because at least they have a dude that is believable as Superman. Even back then, he was good as Superman. Yeah, well, you know me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Reeves fan, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. You are old like that. Was waiting for you to say that. But, by the way, I also hear we're getting a Joker 2 trailer tonight. Oh, boy. I, I really don't. Which I'm like, oh, I, c I can't wait to watch The Sound of Music with Clown. That movie's gonna be Because arguably it didn't need a sequel. And even if they it did... Really did. Yeah. But he says, Jared, it was um, great streaming with you on Saturday. It was great streaming with you, Ruthie. Sorry, my controller, uh, and Jared's not gonna buy that for a second. Sure it did. Sure it did. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna step away to turn on the light real quick. You guys, uh, fill the air. Jared, you better not be talking about Super Wonder. Talk about the other cu couple in DC that works so well, and that's Nightwing and Batgirl. They are the best. <sighs> All right, so let's 
see. What, uh, let's see how well uh, Nick can, it can shoot. Wait, did they just take me all the way back here? So Ruthie, uh, Ruthie said something to you here. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I responded. Because uh, we were all on a stream together because uh, William from the Sci-Fi Center was doing a watch party for first Wonder Woman and then Scary Movie 5. And one of the people in the panel absolutely hates scary movies. You could hear him like descending into madness like me watching Dark Man. Oh my god, I wish we could have done a live uh, watch party for that. We may one day. But I will say, it's gonna be fun on movie night. We're watching Catwoman. Oh joy! Oh Nick, you wanna join us? Yeah. Sure! If you wanna suffer with us, you're more than welcome to. Uh... Yeah, I... Uh... I hate to admit, but when I was younger, I actually kind of liked this movie a little. Mm hmm. Uh, that explains so much. That explains so, so much. All my, a lot of my questions were just answered. <laughs> That's not fair. Actually, I really like that uh, they had uh, on the special features for the DVD I had, they talked about the uh, history of Catwoman. Like oh, the really? character. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. They ignored that history in the movie. Exactly. They did, but they got so many different um, actors and actresses and creators um, to talk about the the history behind the character. Like they had Adam West, Ursa Kent. Um, cool. At least they gave us that. Huh? At least they gave us that. Yeah. Wait. 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 Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Oh, it's just gonna say you can find it on uh, YouTube actually. Mm -hmm. All right, we in, got like, two new, parts. Some new comments for you. Uh, scary movie five is that the one w w with the honey boo boo child? I don't know. I was just there for the hilarity. And then uh, Dave says, I think Joker two is going to surprise a lot of people. Might do as well as the first film. I don't think it'll do as well as the first film. So Jared, I do not. I've never even seen the first film. So Jared, what? You... I actually haven't seen it either, so... Wow. By the way, Dave says it was a bad I idea to do a legacy sequel to the Reeves film without Reeves or any of the original cast or creators. Brendan was too to serve his own franchise. And technically, he got it with Crisis, and he did great. Well, with Crisis, he was still playing the Reeves Superman. Yeah, but at least it was a little bit more of an original thing. Fair enough. Also, that was a that was the one time it was appropriate to use Kid the Kingdom Come S. Yes, because that was literally the Kingdom Come Superman. My problem with this is that, see, Gunn is practicing. Uh, it, if this movie is bad, it will confirm my hypothesis that a lot of these creatives claim to be comic book fans, but what they really do is they just throw in a bunch of comic book re references to hide a shitty plot because they know that fans are going to be like, oh, he, he has the Kingdom Come S. It's the best Superman movie ever. Yeah. <clears throat> Similar to how I've seen this theory going around that uh, supposedly uh, Sega might not really care that much about what's canon or not. They just know that it's a buzzword that, that makes fans happy, so they just throw it around when they want something to be important. Mm, possibly. By the way, Nick, did you see that, like, Xbox confirmed that, that they're very much working on the new console after the, like, speculation that, that, that um, they, they were abandoning new console development? I mean... I'm sorry, like, Phil Spencer, like, uh, we're gonna, like, focus on all this, because we're, we've done such a bad, like, we're gonna do such a bad job at our console, we're just gonna blame everyone else for our failures. Yeah, exactly. 
Uh, see, here's the thing. It's like, again, Xbox, uh, in my opinion, has the, the better hardware. It's just they have the... They don't... They're, it's not being utilized correctly. It's exactly like DC. DC has the better characters, but they're not being utilized properly. Yeah. Well, what, what does it say that Microsoft just... Start, Microsoft itself just started marketing Halo. It's not like they had a, a web series that was left on TV for the past few years. Oh, yeah, speaking of that, so they sold, so Warner Brothers sold the Roost podcast network, so officially, Rooster Teeth is no more officially. Wow. That is crazy. I gotta say, it's gonna be a lot to get used to an internet without Rooster Teeth, because I remember yeah. growing up on RVB. I mean, same here. Dave says it all depends if Joker 2 ma manages to break. Okay, so uh, Belinda says, I can't stand Lady Gaga. Sorry, not sorry. Dave says, uh, Dave says it all depends on if Joker 2 manages to bring in female audiences with Lady Gaga and the romantic musical aspect. I've heard that the romantic musical thing is not like as big in the movie as people say it is. Tell that to the marketing team. Yo, that's the marketing team. Yeah, exactly. Also, I I'm pretty much convinced that like Taylor Swift is gonna play Dazzler in uh, in Deadpool three because it just it just makes so much sense. Like he's actually friends with Brian Reynolds. I'm see. Oh, well, that was hilarious. I'm see. I, I, I saw a report that she's not playing Dazzler, but 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 she is in the movie doing a song. Okay. Like, that's kind of a waste of opportunity. Why, why don't you have her as Dazzler? I mean, come on. I have no idea. I mean, she could be in there as Dazzler. I don't know. It's just... A, I, I just I remember I saw a, a, a thing that, that, like, she was gonna be uh, j it, just her doing a, a song. Which, oh, okay. It makes more sense in, the, in an X-Men movie for her to be Dazzler, but okay. Yeah, I mean... Wouldn't you want to associate her with an actual like, character? Mm -hmm. oh, you would think. Pathetic. Actually, I'm gonna say this now. I don't mind Lady Gaga or Taylor Swift. Like, I don't really see them as big actresses. Yeah, but I don't know, like it. every singer has thing. to act, and every actor has to sing. Yeah, exactly. I see. This, my Thanks, problem Disney. is that. My problem is that I don't like Taylor Swift be, being shoved in my face by literally everyone. Yeah, Swifties be cray cray. Swifties are a special bunch. <laughs> I can't say anything to cowardly, cowardly and superstitious lot. <laughs> You'll ne never find a more wretched eye with scum and villainy. <laughs> Can't be that harsh on Swifties because my best friend is like really right. into Taylor Swift, so I'm kind of. Wait, the majority of them are crazy. Yeah, Nick. Speaking of that uh, meme, I saw this one hilarious meme that, that was that scene from episode four, and then Obi Wan says, "You'll never find a more wretched hyper scub and villainy," and uh, and they're looking at the offices of CNN. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I, I'm sorry. I I don't like. To, I don't normally like to get political on these streams, but I love how Don Lemon's like. I was a complete and total d bag to Elon Musk. Why won't you have me on your on your thing? Yeah, reportedly they had a deal, and then they did an episode, and then Elon's like, nope. Because again, Elon's like, because to, to Elon's point, it was like, that's just, you're just acting like CNN, and I don't need that on Twitter. Try to see what the deal is. Yeah. To his credit, though, he said, you're more than welcome to have a Twitter account and show on Twitter. I just won't sponsor it. Yeah. Belinda says, I always liked Dazzler. I'm not filled with confidence. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. Fair enough.
<sighs> but uh oh, yeah. I like some of Lady Gaga's songs, like some of her early stuff. It's it is admittedly catchy. Um and then uh Belinda was talk uh I think you read uh what Dave said. Dave said Lady Gaga was decent on American Horror Story. I don't care of either of their music, but I respect Lady Gaga as an artist. I don't respect Taylor I Swift. You, that sounded better in your head. That's fair. I remember once I was sleeping over at a buddy's house and we were playing Call of Duty, and then someone put on Bieber. No! If you, I have no idea. If you've never played Call of Duty to Justin Bieber, it is the most scarring experience. I am so sorry for you, man. Uh, well, well, I think you can tell who I was targeting in the free-for-all multiplayer. Yeah, you better be. So, Jared, you notice how my gun performance has gone up dramatically? Yeah. I'm playing with the superior control method now. What, a mouse and keyboard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's how you should be playing uh, FPS. Yeah, I mean, it's just I'm more used to, to control. For, for, for some reason with me, it's the opposite. I'm better on a control of the name with mouse and keyboard. Except for RTSs. RTSs I pretty much have to play uh, the keyboard. I mean, Stockholm Syndrome is a thing, so I get it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so the name of that uh, Catwoman history thing is the many faces of Catwoman. Okay. okay, I'll check that out. Thank you. It's actually pretty interesting. It's uh, like I said, it's got a bunch of actors and actresses, comic creators, people who really know the character, and that's also so not Tom Barry King. No, no, long before his time. Good. It just astounds me how DC has. That's another character DC has abused, even like my fourth favorite DC character. Or like, more like my second favorite female DC character. It's kind of funny because they're trying to put her out as this girl power uh, icon. They make her look absolutely horrible. Or, th and then they do an event like Gotham War. Where all of a sudden she's like, "Oh, it, it's it, eat the rich, but uh, we get rich." So I'm like, "That doesn't make sense. Allow some crime." Well, to be fair, to be fair, it's kind of masked off because you know that's what they really believe. Yeah. So they make her horrible and stupid. Like your average leftist. I mean, I'll, I'll give Tom King this. He, in terms of like a Batman and Catwoman's relationship, he wasn't that far off. They have that will they won't they energy. Yeah, except with DC making people think there was gonna be a wedding and then pulling the rug out from under them, it's a won't they. Like, they legit had people, like, hang up, like, wedding decorations for, like, uh, for, for, for the wedding at comic book stores. And then they, they had a, a wedding cake. And then DC said, no. Nope. Now, is it is it one of those things where, like, they're planning on doing it, but they change their mind? I don't know. Uh, if I ever interview Tom King, I'll tell him. By the way, it's kind of funny. You know what Marvel asked comic book stores to do once? So, so they asked comic books to hang up a bunch of Hydra flags and make it seem like Hydra took over, forgetting the fact that Hydra is associated with the Nazi party. Not a good plan. Oh. Yeah, I know. Ooh. I'm like, well, I'm like, what? That's not a good Ooh. idea. That is a that is an oof. That is a big oof. All right. 
Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was that was earned. Also, Nix, can you bonk Jared for me, please? Sure. Thank you. Oh, is a bonk one? Where's that? That's my specialty one. It's exclusive. One. Uh. <laughs> yes, uh, you have to be an ultra. The ultra Nick's romantic. specialty. Oh, okay. From one of the other groups that I'm a part of, the server. <laughs> We also discovered some very fun ones to use on Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, next letter. Yep. Nice. Oh God. So I'm looking at Nick's uh, Discord sounds, and this one literally just labeled Wonder Bat. Yeah, play it, Jared. Play it. I can't play it. It won't, it won't allow me. Oh, that's what? why. Okay, I, I, I think it's because of privileges. Mm. Uh, I don't even it, see it. What? What is it's, this? Oh, it's, oh it's there. I think it's because uh, Jared is is a mod. It <gasps> says I'm not. It says I'm not an ultra subscriber or something like that. Oh, nitro. That'd be a nitro. Uh, it's staring at me, menacingly. <laughs> You know what's kind of I'm funny? Nitro. Nick, you'll love this. Someone just tweeted, quote, I can't live in your world. And it's like Mark and Amber and Spider-Man and Gwen. And then someone retweeted and goes, and they both ended up with redheads. All right. I, I'm, I'm looking funny at... Funny how that works. Let me... Uh, uh, let's see here. Oh, roles. Let's see here. Member... Permissions. I, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm looking at it right now. Um. Oh boy. Let's see here. Uh. Use external stickers. Um. Right, uh, video. Yeah. Use. You can use the soundboard. Members can use the soundboard. But um, I have to have to be a Nitro subscriber in order to to, to use those ones. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can use the air horn. I, I, I can use the the regular ones for D D Discord. I just can't use any of the ones for, for the special like uh, channels. All right. Um, Nix, try try looking at it now. Um, there's a. Already. Yeah, because you can see it. Um. All right, let's uh let's get back to this. We've probably lost so many people. All right, what is uh Ruthie and Belinda saying? Oh, uh, Ruthie I... said, "Can I have a bonk, please?" Nix, can you can you oblige Ruthie? I can oblige. And B Belinda says, "I'd say they missed an opportunity with Catwoman." I mean, they have uh, they have had Michelle Pfeiffer and Halle Berry pl played the character. Hey, everyone lo lo loves a good cat fight. Uh... Yeah. All right, Nick, you see it Think now? of the marketing alone, according to Belinda. Yeah, the marketing. No, it doesn't great. want to show for me. I think it might be something from my Discord, though. Weird. I'll see you're, you're in see my it. phone. Um, actually, this is misogyny. Let me. Yeah, all it's right. Very problematic. Well, let, let, let's do some <laughs> let's do some reparations, shall we? Uh, <laughs> so, um, all right. Uh, I'm being oppressed. Well, not. I, I'm. I'm changing. Nix, congratulations! You're, you're, you are now an admin on my server. Oh, yay! So please use those privileges she an wisely. Admin for, why wasn't she an admin from the beginning? Because I'm stupid. Uh, <laughs> All right, Nix. Well, that's interesting. It's really because you're old and forgetful. All right, Nix, you see it now? Uh, I'm gonna go look. Do you see how? Do you see how your color changed? Did it? One second. It should be purple. See 
you, Nick. I still do not see it on the soundboard, but I'm going you? to take a guess. Are you an admin? That's weird. I wonder how you can't see it. Here I can see it. Discord's oppressing us. Yeah. Discord is misogynistic. <laughs> oh dear God. Um, Cancel Discord. Well, with what they're doing, they might not, they might, they might be seeing rather than later. Can you catch up with the comments, please? Uh, well, um, well, Dave says, Michelle Pfeiffer will probably always be the best film Catwoman. Belinda says, oh yeah, but uh, but Haley looked good in the role. The movie just sucked. If she had a better suit, I would agree with you, Belinda. Yeah. I mean, the suit's really not that bad, honestly, if you... Honestly. It <laughs> looks nothing like the Catwoman suit. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's just the movie itself, really, that's a problem, in my opinion. Mm See that clip, behind the scenes clip, where she nailed the whip tank in like in like, lip thing in like one take. Yeah. I have, and I saw that even years later, she still has the whip and she can still use it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I saw that. I was like, oh, be still, my heart. Because apparently she's a big fan of the character in the comics too. So I'm like, okay, I respect that. Michelle Pfeiffer is based. She's, she's just a great actress. I wish, I wish in the Flash when he goes and visits Michael Keaton that at least they, they also like brought in like a brief cameo, Michelle Pfeiffer. Like she's hanging out in Wayne Manor with Bruce. Oh, did you uh, know that as far as Crisis canon is confirmed, uh, Batman did marry Catwoman? Oh, well, that, I like that. That works. Yeah, there's actually a newspaper clipping where it says, like, oh, yeah, he marries Catwoman. That works. Well, I mean, they, I mean, they yeah. do get together in the 89 sequel comics. Yeah, it makes sense. Though I, I will say him and Chase Meridian kind of had a thing. Trying to get another my cape doctor. <laughs> really stupid thing. Yeah, I didn't like her. Uh, I mean, she she was cool as a character, but overall, with the whole ba with like her relationship to Batman, I was like, no, no. <laughs> they tried way too hard with her. It just did not work. Mm -hmm. What would you rather? Skin tight vinyl and a whip. Uh -huh. Try fireman. Let's to take off. Just the lines in that movie. Oh my. God. Can I persuade you to get to take a sandwich with you, sir? I'll get drive through. Jared, didn't you love how we were, we were doing Batman and Robin? I was just quoting like mad. Mm -hmm. I love how we're talking about Catwoman, and yet your character has a whip. I mean, it's not like it's that's kind of a partial reason why I'm playing as her. It's almost is her name Selena. 
It could be. Ooh. Alright, what's what's Dave saying? Dave says that the Keaton Batman Beyond film needs to happen. The Flash world was a, a Flashpoint universe created by combining the Burton and the Snyderverse, not the Burton universe. Yeah, I wish they did that. Or at the very least, if they were to do the the um animated Batman Beyond movie, they could have had Keaton voice Bruce. Actually, one question I have for the Beyond universe that was never answered in the show, and I never read the comics, so I don't know if it's answered there. What happened to Selena Kyle? The uh, universe? Yeah. So, what happens is she. So, I, th I believe, if I remember correctly, first she leaves a cat with Bruce. Uh, or, 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 oh, no, no. He adopts a cat for, for, from the street. And then she shows up around the time that Harvey Dent gets injured and turned to Two-Face, and it's like she and Bruce are trying to decide if they can have a relationship and stuff. Huh. It was actually kind of cool because the dude that wrote the comic was one of the writers on the original film. Oh, really? Yeah, and they actually drew it so Bruce looks like Keaton to the point where he wears like the, the black turtleneck and the jeans. Oh, that's cool. Iconic. But no, I mean like Batman Beyond. Oh, they Batman have, like, Beyond. Brief... Oh, Beyond comics. I never read those. Yeah, neither have I, but I was like, they, they did get, have what like, I understand, they get really, thing. they get like kind of cringy. Because I guess at one well, point, uh, the Future's End thing, which is basically Batman Beyond One More Day, where they basically yeah. have uh, Tim Drake become Batman Beyond. No, what happened was, so in the, so with Future's End, it was basically Terminator, but with DC characters, and it takes place five years in the future, Brother Eyes converting all the characters into super, into like, androids. Batman, Bruce, then Terry back in time to stop Brother Eye from being made, but what happens is Bruce is captured by Brother I and converted into a drone and in Brother I's twisted humor, what they do what Brother I does is he surgically play, implants the Joker into Bruce's body except on the back of Bruce. So it, it's Bruce and then he turns around to the Joker. But anyway, um, Terry goes back in time and then he's killed and then uh, and later on in the story, he's killed. Not really. And then Tim Drake becomes ba Batman Beyond. That, that, that is correct. There's just more context in there. But the only the only thing that I remember from, from the legit ba Batman Beyond comics is that the only love interest they gave Bruce was Batgirl. Also, this is a preview for our... Uh, whenever we stream... Uh, whenever we do a rewatch for Batman Beyond. Terry should be with Ten. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Oh, come the on. the Joker trailer. Alright. Do a live reaction for us, Jared, please. Alright, so hang on. I'm going to do this. I'm going to stop watching the stream real quick so I can hear it. So, Jared's not going to... We're not going to stream the trailer, but Jared's going to watch it and give his live reaction. Alright. So, it's on right now. Uh oh. Okay, not bad. Well, they changed the Harley Quinn origin. Really? What? Because from what I can see, she's not his psychologist. She's a, she's a, a singer in the in the choir of uh, the prison. Okay. Wait, hang on. She may, hang on. She actually may, may be a nurse. Hang on. Well, she's obviously crazy from what they're showing. He's in the Joker makeup. Ah, fiddlesticks. 
stuck soon. Mm-hmm. So the other thing about uh, about Joker is how much of this is going to be um, in his head? Because remember, a lot of that first film mm-hmm. was actually delusion. Yeah, it's almost it's interesting. I seem to like almost bump up that idea in difficulty. The first time, it's made really, really obvious. The second time, it's like, wait, when did it start? And then the third time, it was like, did the entire movie just happen inside his head or not? I mean, just about, Okay, so from what I can see is, I mean, it's it's interesting. The thing about it is, like, it looks like they changed the Harley Quinn origin. Okay, in a good or bad way. Well, well she's not his psychologist. She's basically, like, I think, so from what it looks like, it looks like she's in the, the choir, and she's inspired by what the Joker did because she says, I've never done anything, uh, anything crazy. Not like what you did. Well, that's, uh, all right. Uh, all right, Dave, you take care. Hey, see you, Dave. Bye. So what I'm hearing is that this could go either one of two ways. Really good, really bad. Yeah, sounds about right. I mean, I get what, I mean, if they changed it just for like the story, because obviously this isn't a, a like a faithful like adaptation of the Joker's origin either. This isn't a killing joke, so I understand that. And I'm what, I'm interested to see what they do with Harley in terms of the origin, but I'm still cautious. Yeah. Also, again, can we stop getting so many Harley Quinn things? You probably won't because DC's addicted to her and James Gunn is in charge. Yeah. And I believe he already is. He, he he said he wants to bring back Margot Robbie as Harley, which I'm like, it's further in, in, indicating to me that's not a reboot. Yeah. I mean, the new. Video- They've got it completely back. They got it completely backwards. If you, they want so much Harley Quinn, but not enough Paul Dini. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I mean, at this point, Jared, if if you was gonna announce that Ruth Tim was gonna be a part uh, of his creative force, you would not be surprised. Yeah. Which, if he did that, watch Batman will, will and he'll make Batman younger just so he can sleep with Batgirl. I would not be surprised. And if he does that, it'll still be creepy because I know the way it's supposed to be. Sarbadon's own ship, you know, before she got promoted, I mean. They say it went down before the crapping happened. Imagine that. Crash! Bang! Oh, would have been something to see. I want an update on the Helios situation. Sir, I've got my best people working on a way to retake the station. That's the Hyperion CEO. Is he as much of a bottle and glass ass as I hear? <laughs> Who the hell is that? That is the ten-year-old boy we hired to help us. Ten-year-old boy. That's not what you ever want to hear. <laughs> yeah, that is not what you want to hear. Yeah, 
Yeah, I get you, Belinda. Ew. <laughs> Says Batman and Batgirl be killing. Hang on, be killing. I'm trying to. For some reason, the the heart that uh, that's in um the the, the YouTube chat is blocking what she's trying to say. Stupid thing. Um, the killing poke. I mean, why? Who thought that was a good idea? Um, Bruce Tim did. Because that, that showed up because he needed a way. Here's here's why that showed up in the Timverse, and I say Timverse because it's in the comics that are canceled the Timverse. He needed a way to get Nightwing uh, to explain why Nightwing never shows up in Batman Beyond. I'm going to wait for a few seconds. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, right. hurry back, please. Dave says, J just watch it. I think it's going to be huge. Ch um, ch chicks are going to eat it up. Oh, uh, yeah. This is, this is probably also going to reignite the Joker and Harley couples goals thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually dated a girl who, who believed in that crap. You know what's kind of funny? According to David Ayer, that's all WB. In his movie, he actually has the actual Joker Harley relationship. I do believe him. They also revealed what uh, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine suit looks like with the cowl on. Ooh. It looks pretty good. Uh, reason? Oh, well, well, well that, that was a shitty reason Bruce would never do that. Particularly that version of Bruce. By the way, the reason why they tried to push Batman with Wonder Woman is actually because they wanted to stop people from shipping Superman and Wonder Woman together. Those bastards! Yeah, I know. That's the only reason that, that was pushed. Welcome back, Nick. Jared, what other like uh, good Batman behind Batman Beyond behind the scenes goodness you got for us? Um, not that much. All I know is that that's why the B Batman B Batgirl thing started, and, and combined with that is that Bru is that Bruce Tim is on on record saying he always thought there was there was an attra a mutual attraction there, and I'm like, no, no, stop it. Yeah, Wait, what are, you, what are you talking about? 
Bruce Tim is on record saying that he's always felt that there was a mutual attraction between Batman and Batgirl. Oh, Fred? Yeah, exactly. Of course. There was never, but okay. By the way, I caught someone on Twitter once. They were saying about how, oh yeah, but, uh, the, the, they should use the DCAU as the template. And I said, oh, you mean the one where Batman and Batgirl uh, slept together because they had to explain why Nightwing didn't show up in Batman Beyond it, and then this person went, Oh yeah, that's true, I forgot about that. That's why, again, I'm convinced, and anyone that has seen my Justice League, uh, 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 Nick and I's uh, Justice League reviews knows that all the good ideas uh, are, are in episodes written by Paul Dini and, and Dwayne McDuffie, and all the BS ones are in stuff that heavily involves Bruce Tim. Yeah, it's basically a running joke that, like, oh, this, this episode is so cringe. Oh, that's... Listen, the bosun's pretty much that, holding yeah, we're just like, did Bruce Tim write this? for his entertainment, but you're here, and if you look like the rescuing type... Alright, uh, can you catch up on the, uh, set the ass-kicking type? Um, Dave says, the first suicide... Uh, actually, first, Hardcore Bunny says, I want a movie adaptation of Porto Maltese. That could be cool. Um, Dave says, the first Suicide Squad film sold Jokey and Harley merch for several years after the film. W women definitely want a full Joker Harley movie. This well, movie will will probably do a billion Great. or close to it. Possibly. I still don't think it'll do a billion, but we'll way see. Way I mean, I, I, I think, I think, I think Dave, together, so I mean, I, I think it's a possibility, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Hardcore Bonnie says, I am so tired of Western superhero comics. Well, that's, well, so is the audience for Western superhero <laughs> comics. Oh, by the way, so did I tell you, the very... So in in the Superman comics it, it, uh, today, you, you know what they wanted to to, to show? Um, it's like Superman's like relaxing with Lois Lane. They're doing yoga. Couple of yoga. Yeah, oh, I believe so. And then uh, Br Br Britt sent me that, and I said it's cute how they think couples yoga. Anything them doing couples yoga shows me that they were a good relationship. I'm like, what? That's my problem. It's so forced. Oh, almost at it. It would, it, it would be kind of interesting if like, uh, Nick. It, it would be kind of funny if the um, if the single uh, if the out of continuity like single universe mo uh, movies do b b b uh, b better than the DCU movies. How WB will like adjust? Yeah, one does wonder. And we're about 25 days away from Free Comic Book Day. Yes. Woo. Yeah. I want you, big guy. Oh, come on. Todd Phillips says, Joker 2 is a movie where music is an essential element, but doesn't veer too far from the first film. So right there, he's telling you it's technically not a musical. I'm sorry, that just sounds like spin. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, that just sounds like spin to me. We'll see what when it comes out. By the way, Belinda says Elf Quest only if the peonies are di directly involved. Yeah, haven't they been trying to like get a uh, animated Elf Quest off the ground for like thirty years or something? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. The reason and why apparently... the problem. Yeah, I actually watched a video about this. Mm-hmm. 
Apparently, the first trailer for Transformers 1 is set to release on April 18th. Yes. Oh, mother. Yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I hardcore bunny. As cynical as it sounds, you're probably right. Because look at what yeah. they do with Tolkien. They waited for Christopher Tolkien to die. As soon as Christopher Tolkien had died, they made all those deals. You know? Yep. Christopher Tolkien? Yeah. Yeah. I his... thought his name was J.R.R. Tolkien. No, his son. Oh, his son. Okay, okay. I'm, I, I, I was confused about that. I'm like, wait a second. Did, did Nick's old man brain act up again? By the way, Nick, you'll appreciate this. So, so fans took the scene from the Invincible season uh, season finale and actually reanimated in there Spider-Man, like actual Spider-Man. Okay, I. Uh... And it's like spot on. You would think it was in there the entire time. Dave says I recommend Belinda and the, the, the bunny look. Look into some French bands. Gas and A for starters. American superhero comics can be great, but it's good to expand your taste and not just to not get burned out. Yeah. It's always these big guys that keep you in trouble. That happens to one in five men. Okay, Jared. We're good. We're good with the old man jokes. You, like, it's, it's like... No, I, I didn't say old man jokes. That wasn't an old man joke. Still, it's, you know... I get it. Uh, it. It was funny the first time you said it. Not so much the 50,000. The coward dies a thousand mm -hmm. deaths, but you could go on forever. Say, Let's oh. just get this out of the way. Yes, most of my merchandise was ripped from the hands of dead and Well, Linda says, oh, do not even get me started on ROP. I don't know what that is. Uh, Rings of Power, I think. Oh. Uh... The less we say about that, the better. You mean the one? The, is that the show where they retcon the way the original rings were made? Even though we see it in the movie, among other things. Hardcore and he said, I, re I, I learned French so I could read their comics. Now that's dedication. Damn it! God dang it. Trying to see if there's any other news going on right now. Dying on duty is a treasonous How about that weather, huh? Yeah. That 
that vaguely sounded like Gilbert Godfrey. God for glitches. God for glitches. Yeah, according to Brit, Harley is a patient in Arkham and not a psychiatrist in, in the Joker 2. That's weird. Which I'm like, uh, I mean, that can work depending on how they do the story. Yeah, I guess. But I'm like, why change that, though? Yeah, that's how I feel. That's my problem with like a lot of creatives when they want to change stuff for uh for the thing. I'm like, at least tell me why. But 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 how else will they put the put their stamp on it? Yeah, that's my bi biggest annoyance when creatives come in and they want to put their stamp on something, <laughs> but so they change it so it's unrecognizable, like whoever the hell made Halo Season One. Oh, I hate that. So many just want just are more focused on. On this narcissistic insistence on just making an impact on the IP more than iterating on well, upon what's there and keeping already. things consistent. They certainly make an impact already. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, my, 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 my. Well, yeah, that's that's the intent. Yeah, the, the of thing pretty much I, all else. The thing that I hate is you do an adaptation of a, of a well loved video game. You don't play the. You actively avoid playing the video game. In fact, it, not only that, but you brag about it. Or James Gunn actually told John Cena not to read. Are you talking about the Last of Us? Well, J James Gunn also told John Cena not to read any Peacemaker comics. Well, that's because his his version had nothing to do with the comics anyway. So yeah, e e even like Vigilante is nothing like the Gun Vigilante. They, they, uh, the one thing that is interesting to me is that they're releasing a documentary about Christopher Reeves after his, like, accident. Is this, so it's showing how he, like, he stayed strong and all that stuff. That actually looks really cool. Yeah. It sucks that, like, eventually his wife, even his wife, died of cancer. Uh, this is, like, Dick. shortly before... Sorry, go ahead. Dave says Harley being a fellow patient probably works better for this Joker since he's not really evil and manipulative like the more traditional versions of Joker. Oh, he's evil. He's definitely evil. Manipulative, I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see if they try and make him uh, manipulative. How about that, the Batman Harley? Wait, there is a bit about. Wait. 
There was one in the I don't Batman. think there is a jo- I don't think there is a Joker. Um, I mean, the, I mean, there is a Joker. I don't think there is a Harley in the Batman. Yeah, sure. Happened twenty years ago. Uh, are you talking about an animated series? Are, are you trying yeah. to like? Oh. Oh. Is, no, is that the it. one with the Joker? Yeah, she was something of a talk show hostess. Yeah. Is that is that the series where the Joker had dreadlocks? Something like that. Oh, yeah, this kind God. of flying monkey kickboxing fighting style, and was a bit of a mad scientist. And Harley Quinn had this, was a talk show hostess or something, rather than yeah. uh, working in Arkham. They didn't get to flesh her out as much, and she showed up in the she don't, she showed up in the last season of the show as opposed to the first in, in the animated in Batman the animated series. So she didn't get to get fleshed out nearly as much at all. Actually, I will say the Batman gave her them kind of a more like stable relationship. It's kind of funny because their only template was was, oh, he's abusive towards her, but she still stays with him. But, yeah. From what I remember, he was a lot nicer to her. Yeah, they even had a musical number together. They had a duet. But in the other episodes that she showed up in, there was, like, he could still get rough with her. But they were seemingly on better-ish terms. And the, the interest seemed to be more mutual. Instead of just one sided pining. Yeah, Nick, you almost got air. I better go uh, go hit up the Rudy then. Oh, yeah, yeah Harko Bunny talking about goodbye. how Harley being the aggressor. Yeah, take that, I can Kate. see that. You mean she'll nice. be the girl boss thing? Stop yeah. it, my fluffy koala she was the aggressor in the Telltale Batman, but yeah, she was. She was. I don't really like that game, so. Yeah. I mean, let me put this way: the potential was there. It's just you spend a lot of time as Bruce Wayne, and I would spend more yeah. time as Batman. Sim, sim, bam, sim, Joker. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, I, I would say it is kind of cool that when you're playing the game. Depending on your choices, you can even have the Joker become an anti-hero and not a villain. That is pretty cool. Or even become a straight-up hero. So, see, that game had so much potential, it's just, again, there were several flaws with it. Yeah. The Plus, the multiplayer is boring because all we do is we vote on choices. That's it. Really? That's it? There was multiplayer? Because what you do is you each make a Telltale account on your phones, and then everyone else votes on their phones. Oh, ew. I know, it is dumb. It's really boring. My friends and I tr- tried it, and we were like, do you want to go play the Lego games? Yes. No wonder No wonder they went out of business. Well, okay, but Telltale knows their bread and butter is their multiple choices thing. Why would they try to make a multiplayer? Ambitious. What? My brain, it can't handle the stupidity. Yeah, you and me both, Nick. It's actually kind of funny because they go so hard to try and make uh, Bruce's family look terrible, and Bruce, in some instances, looks really terrible himself. Because Selena was Harvey's kind of sort of girlfriend, and then he just yeah. sleeps with her. And then you steal her away, so. Yeah. yeah. All right, can you catch up with the comments? Not cool, Bruce. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't call Walking Phoenix evil, just mentally disturbed with a dangerous psychosis. That is true. By the way, Nick, Selena in the Telltale Games is voiced by Laura Bailey, so it should automatically oh. get it, it gets your point to you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> there you go. For I those like you that don't she- know the inside joke for Comics League, uh, if, if Jennifer Hale is in anything, I automatically give that an extra two to five points in terms of ratings. And then Nick gives the same boost for anything that, that has Laura Bailey voice a character. It's just science. Yeah, it's objective well, yeah, proof. 
they're both very great actresses. Yes, yes, they're excellent. Which, uh, I love Jennifer when... Hale could go from Cinderella to like Fed Shepherd. Oh, well, I did. If it, wait, do you voice Cinderella? Yeah, in the sequel movies. Not the original, obviously, but oh, like. Oh, I in found a Cinderella three. movie for Jared to watch. Oh, hell yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I, I liked where she's playing Jean Grey in X-Men 97, and then she plays the Goblin Queen, and you get to hear her play the bad guy, and I'm like, oh, this is good. That is a Jennifer Hale performance. But did you know more Mass Effect players play F Femme Chef because her delivery of the lines is, has more attitude than the male Shepherd? Jennifer Hale uh, is Is that old. why so many people the... Uh, the, the commonly accepted headcanon is making her the more renegade type. Probably, yeah, because it get, it, 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 renegade honestly gives you the more, like, badass speech options. I and mean, you start to look like a Terminator. Nice. Alright, what's, uh, what's the chat saying? Dave says the relationship will probably be a romantic de depiction of, of codependent mental illness in this movie. Yeah, I can believe that. Hardcore Bonnie says Telltale sh sh should have stuck with point and click adventure puzzle games. The choose your own adventure formula killed them. Yeah. To a degree, that's ben true. Said, it well, it's just they could have had that work. What they could have done is done it the way Getting where, bags, where, uh, where like Mass Effect does it, where it's an action game that has choices as opposed to just. Choice, cho uh, as, as opposed to just cutting, 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 choice, cutting, small amount of gameplay, cutting. It's mostly cutting. Yeah. I have no idea why uh, AAA games nowadays want to make their games into like essentially movies, but because I have every game because, because because every game developer is a failed movie movie maker. They, they want to be movie makers. It, it, it's that easy, Nix. That's true. It's actually kind of funny, though. I remember a time when Telltale, like, back with the first Walking Dead game, created this powerful, beautiful, moving story that left you emotionally just... Like, just broken. Oh, yeah, Clementine. Yeah, and Lee. That whole thing. Like, it made so many people cry that last episode, and then ever since then, they just went downhill more and more. And, and when you think part. about it, when you think about it, Batman should be like a layup for I'm them. Sure we'll yeah. Yeah. But they fumbled the bag so hard. We can bring down the force so field, unbelievably hard. Too. Me yeah. by jettisoning the main engines. Removing them will really mess up several of the Drakensberg's key systems. I'll quietly talk you through things and update your echo where appropriate. So Jared, but the bosun's going now to that you've kind of been watching this game, what do you think of it? Bring them on. It's, it's not First, typically my type of shooter. I mean, I, I actually have played this game before. Output. It it's fun to watch, not as much. fun fun to play in my opinion at least so jared i guess so what you're saying is are you entertained uh, are you not entertained i had the most fantastic moment of that do you mind if i tell the story go ahead so I nick and i on my channel were interviewing mike Barron, the legendary writer of the punisher and we were talking about his book thin blue line which is pro cop comic which i read and thoroughly enjoyed so Mike asked me, were you, uh, are you, were you entertained, Jared? So I legit, I have that, that clip from Gladiator. So I go, uh, uh, so, so Mike, what you're essentially telling me is that you walked into the, into the comic book scene and was like, were you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Nice. Very nice. Um, Mag Magic Mike Baron. <laughs> yeah. Dave. Uh, Dave says the relationship with. Uh, okay, so, uh, we already said that. All 
Alright. Uh, so what you got uh, cooking in the barrel here? I just edited and I have up for my m m members a video about why Ultimate Spider-Man is awesome. Oh. Hmm. Like, like the new series. The old series is great, but... My what chief point with it is that Nothing, Marvel literally gave Great. the fans what they want Can and said, okay, we'll give you what you want, you better show up. Is. And the fans showed up. Yeah. Give me a sec. So, speaking of editing, Jared, did you uh, check out the edits I sent you? I checked, I, I checked them out. Yeah, a, a lot of it is like, yeah, you make excellent points and your dial uh, and Yes, you, you are right, I have to tighten up the dialogue, and I probably will end up going with a lot of the dialogue suggestions you gave, because they were actually very good. Well, I try. Um, mm -hmm. And like I said, those if you, if you those that are wondering, it. Nick is, is officially the editor for Athena, Goddess of Thunder, and he's doing a great job of it. Well, I, I, I certainly would like to think so. Alright. I believe I can fly. Oh, there's that. No! Uh, wait, wait, what? What did they say? Not nearly as awesome as one more day! No! You just need one more day, Nick. You just need one more no. day. We all suffer oh, through that. Enough. I brought that book up on my video and then I immediately followed it up with the bat flag. Why did you say that name? Uh, you guys are cool. Man. The art in that book was not good. Oh man, Peter looked like a satanic creature in that book. Yeah, the artist just did not do a good job. Ironically, the artist Joe Casada is the one that wanted Peter and MJ not to be together. It's sad. Apparently, the rationale behind it was that it was going to make Peter more relatable to the readers. Yeah, no. But didn't you have Miles at that point? Did you have Miles at that point? Or, or, or did, did, did they not merge it yet? Alright, so how do I do this? Like, I gotta destroy Overload the ending floor? Hey, Dave, stay l lighter, bro. Alright, Jared, how do I do this? What is this called? Uh, intelligences of the artificial persuasion. All right. Are you at the AI core? I don't know. Well, well then you need to give me some, uh, some more information on that. All right, objective engine core. That I, I can actually see that. Let me see that. I think is that it? Well, there's a flow regulator. What the hell are you doing to my ship, Bolt Hunter? And why haven't you dealt with him, my sweet? Good work. That's done it. Now all you need to do is expose the power stabilizer. Uh, I don't understand it, Open the power 
stabilizer. Uh. Yeah, after I finish this quest, I'm probably gonna call it. <laughs> shoes on. Honestly, you just blurt out threats without thinking. <laughs> Good. Initiate the engine jettison sequence. The day is coming to an end, and I must play Yellow Taxi Goes Frightening! <laughs> Just came out today. What, no, no, no. Yellow Taxi Goes Frightening! It's one of the most manic games I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a 3D platformer. You're a taxi. Oh, wow. Hey, Belinda, you take care. He actually looks a lot like the kind of game that I've been trying to, wanting to make as I'm figuring out the dough. By the way, Nick, did you like my Suicide Squad clip that I made? I don't think I saw it. You did, you commented. It's the one where I'm flying toward a force field, I forget the force field's up, and I just bounce off it. Oh, yeah, pancake. Yeah, I, lo I had my pancake moment, uh, so I'll, I'll own it. I'll own it. Yeah, that's fair enough. Trying to find the fourth field control. Uh... Alright, so I need to go. Oh, okay.
sex. This ends here. I'm sending in my best man to finish you off. He's called Poop Deck because he kicks so much ass. Get it? Get it? Well, you're gonna. What? Sweetie pie, open what up the door. heck? Oh, this is my love escape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Hey, he's gonna deck you. Yeah. Well. Oops, sorry. Did you want me to keep them open too? What is wrong with you? Well, I guess he was really a crappy boss. Always had the nicest things to say about you. Oh, I know. Where do I go? Alright. That was, uh, something, wasn't it, Jerry? The dialogue in this game is really good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you that. As much as I'm not a bit the biggest fan of the gameplay, the dialogue is fantastic. But they do it better than Game Gun, isn't that funny? All I need is one. There can only be one. <laughs> Don't be such a Highlander. But I, but I just got the sativa. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how to make how to set up this honey. But now I guess I'm just thinking of a weird Star Wars food thing that's all like Jello there. General cannoli. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Nick pun right there. Congratulations, Lug. Oh my god. You you get a turkey. A turkey. I'm sorry, we're both we're all hitting the random button here. Nice, Nyx! Nyx and I are gonna continue to haunt you with the soundboard, Nyx. Just wanna let you know. Yeah! Uh, and the more you let us know what annoys you, the more we're gonna do it. Why are you guys being so mean? Don't you see? It's because we love you, Nick. If you loved me, you wouldn't hurt me so. But, but if you didn't react so funnily, we wouldn't do it. Funnily? Oh, that, that's a new word. I invented it. Yes, not only am I the lord of comics, I'm the lord of the English language. Uh, I've read your script here. You're, you're very much not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to do, like, that was an own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> In terms of shooter games, I'm definitely the lord. Well, considering that that uh, you like Justice League, I find your taste questionable. Well, at least in, ter ter in terms of skill, at least uh, at oh, least in terms of now. like sh of shooting, I can actually use a use a controller and don't have to resort to the elitist keyboard. I'm sorry for the massive. Oh, race. Oh. I'm sorry. I am insulted. Okay. <laughs> 
funny, Nick. I'm looking at, I found a pair of earrings on the site for the St. Patrick's Day ear jewelry. But then, they're the lucky charm symbols. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's one thing the Irish love, it's having their whole identity boiled down to They're always stealing me lucky charms! <laughs> oh, lassie! You just need to grow up a little bit. One person commented on them, they're like, Oh my god, they're so cute, they were called my St. Patrick's Day outfit. Who are you dressed as? I don't Was know. it Lucky? I don't know, uh, but I'm sure I'm sure a guy was hoping to get lucky with her. <laughs> uh, sorry, obvious joke is obvious. Warning, no atmosphere detected. Well, at least those hearing uh, that look magically delicious. Citizens you look magically this. delicious, Nick. You must understand. This measure is necessary. I just blew his head off! So Nick, you can actually help me uh, figure out, like, uh, decide on, on something for my Batman stream. Okay. Should I do a New Game Plus, or should I start fresh? Because if I do New Game Plus, I get to keep on my upgrade, but the difficulty is stuck on Nightmare difficulty, and I feel like the more fails, it'll be funnier. Uh... I don't know, that, that's a pickle. Yeah, because... Uh, it, it would be cool to like be able to like ha have the people like choose which upgrades I grab and stuff. But again, I just think of, because obviously I would also like play up the uh, uh, like over exaggerate my reaction to failing. I don't know. I think start fresh. That's 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 my my. Start fresh. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Luckily, I have most of the suits unlocked uh, because of the suits that that I think people would want me to use would be like the suits I have available at the beginning of the game because I downloaded them, so there you go. Well, smart, smarty pants. Yes, I am smart. No, I said your pants are smart, I didn't say you're smart. Uh-huh. You know, Jared, that's a sharp outfit you're wearing. So sharp, it could probably pierce the, the Hall of an Imperial class uh, Fire Nation battleship, you know, because it's so sharp. Yeah, <laughs> nerd. Yeah. So there's a guy who ships Super Wonder. Next! You that wasn't that. me! That was me! <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be Nick. This is gonna be even funnier because now Nick doesn't know which one of us is playing the soundboard. <laughs> But here's something I found from one of my brother's servers. <laughs> yeah, Nick. What the hell's that? Why don't you put on a little makeup? Oh, okay. Yeah.
Good old glitches. Ah, uh, yes you are. Hey Jared, is he done yet? Yes, you, yes he is. I'm pretty sure he's done. If he's lying on the ground, a, a, a cold, lifeless corpse, I'm pretty sure you know, he's done. Jared, I'm pretty sure he's dead, but I kind of want to check for a pulse. Yep, no pulse. There you go. I knew you're, I, the minute you said check for a pulse, I'm like, go for it. <laughs> you knew exactly what the joke I was going to do. Yeah, make. yeah. You just canceled the apocalypse, my good sir. Wow, I didn't know my medical skills could come to, come to you. <laughs> Don't die before you pay. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, so we've been going like almost four hours, I think. I wasn't intending to go this long, it's just things were just. So going. you're telling me we got the Snyder cut of the Phoenix Press streams? Uh, yeah, pretty much. So. Hey, why do your casual streams have to be more hardcore than your regular streams? <laughs> yeah, Nick. I, I don't know. Like, why do you guys have to have, like, such good conversation? I swear. So, we're just na naturally awesome. Well, you're not, but uh, Nick's is. So, uh, uh, screw you. Uh, no, I'd rather you screw your girlfriend. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> a anyway, anyway. Thank you everyone for joining us. Wonderbat is still canon. Remember, I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. Yeah. <laughs>